There we go. Cool. All right. Oh, I'm cradle. What's this? Wait. This is an additional story. Do you want to enter? Okay. All right. That's what it is. Going back to main menu. Hold on. Let me change the currently playing. Wherever it is. Uh, remain run. Oh, I think it's like toggle running. Remember command. I don't know what that is. Sure. There we go. During Sharon's other games, that's cool. I like that. Dong, dong, dong. I heard the sound of an old clock. In the blurry consciousness, only this sound kept ringing in the distance. I finally woke up and realized that I have been here since the very beginning. I've been living here since I was born. It is dark and freezing. And we are only allowed to live in such a place. We were born here. And forced to create hallucinations. Feel that this is the only way to keep surviving. Then... Being brainwashed... Thinking that the world outside is a land of horror. Thinking about that, leaving this place, would be a mistake. These are constantly planted into our heads. We cannot leave here. No. We didn't even want- We didn't even think about leaving. Just waiting for death passively. In this prison-like barren land, we just sunk in the, in the fake happiness. Just like this, we slowly move towards the ruin. Tasting the non-existent satisfaction without even noticing how unfortunate we are. Wake up. Wake up! It's morning now, Hotaro. As I said, the, the Taro is still there. <laughs> it's morning now, Hotaro. You should get up. See, the art took the... Took a, took a bit of a step up, I see. You finally wake up. Good morning, little sleepy. I have tried to wake you up for a long time. Everyone else is having breakfast. Who are you? Oh, my little boy. You are not awake yet. It should be good morning, mother, right? To be fair, with the green hair, you do look like you could be my mother. 
Okay, now hurry to wash your face and change your clothes. Can you do it by yourself? Ah. You have said that you are not a child anymore. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. Take it easy. Then I'll just go. Come if you're ready. The breakfast today is everyone's favorite. The sandwiches. If... Okay, the... Um, admittedly... The translation is a little shoddy. With everyone's favorite sandwiches. If you are too late, it will. Everyone will eat it. Everyone will finish them. The person who wakes me up is my mother. The morning has begun, just as, uh, just as equal with mother's voice. An ordinary day in this white box. I have to get changed soon and go in and go to the dining room. First day, the cradle of ruin. Damn she's cute. Oh wait. Oh, they are waiting for me. Hurry to the dining room. Dining room is west of this room. Interesting. The note is written by mom. An agreement with mother. One, do not be picky about food. Eat everything. Two, do not disturb mo uh, mother and sisters when they work. Three, do not go out at night. Brush your teeth and go to bed early. The old-fashioned clock. The sound of the clock has remained... Uh, is... Stuck in my head. These little bottles are lined up in cute shapes. It's made from extracts of flowers by a mother out of her interest. The liquor... The liquid smells good. Oh, there was like liquor. It has an incredible scent that calms people. Mother manages, uh, manages the locked shelves. There are photo albums with my photos and diaries with lots of memories. Mother said, when I grow up, we will look at them together. The rubbish bin. Because mother helps me clean it up every day. There is nothing. There are picture books on the shelf, on the bookshelf. Tangled DS. Oh, Tangled Dark Side, Little Red Riding Her Dark Side, Hansel and Gretel Dark Side. Oh my god, wait, I actually haven't, I actually didn't know there was a Tangled Dark Side, hold on. Wait, 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 let me look that one up, hold on. Wait, 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 I'm... Uh, wait, is that not... Wait, is that... Wait, I can't find it. Wait, 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 wait. Has Sharon not made it yet? Is that a game that... The... No, it doesn't seem like he's made it yet. This game came out in 2017. So maybe it's still in the works. Oh yeah, actually yeah, because 
she's made she made Hansel and Gretel Dark Side in 2019, two years after this game. So I guess we have something to look forward to. Either one is old and tatty. What age is it? Or how old is it? Mother picked them randomly from the library and bought to me. And bought it for me. Soft bed. Mother changes the sheets for me every day. Wait, the toilet is just here? No door, no nothing? I've already been to the bathroom, so it's okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's the doll. The doll Tsuna loves. It looks real, as if it could move. Just staring at it, it says I'm about to be sucked in. Fake fruits that look real. The shelf uh, could be found anywhere. The shelf uh, could be found anywhere. There are picture books lined up on the shelf. Mikio Nightmare, Stupid Red Haired Anne, Demon in the Garden. Let me see if any of these are, are like games made by Sharon. Um, Immortal Siren? No. Doesn't seem like it is. No. Nope. Doesn't seem like it is. I guess these are other games that might be in the works. In the closet, there are clothes of Tsuna. There are Tsuna's clothes. The rubbish bin. You want to smell the toilet? Why? There is a sour smell. No shit, Sherlock. The plant's mother keeps cultivating. So it, produ it produces oxygen. And makes the air taste good. Air could be tasty. Or not. I don't think air tastes at all. So. Um, what is this? Written. Uh, Angelica, Angelica's room is written. The machine with uh, red indicator light. What's it for? Is there an alarm? There's a smell of honey milk. For what purpose? The book called Noah's Garden. Want to read? In this story, there are different endings in a closed space. There will be truth in the end. They were kept in the box. Everything seen or heard are all dreams. Being tied to the... Being tied to a bed... See, oh my, I have. I feel a sneeze coming and... Like it's, it's stuck there. And I can't... I can't get it out. Being tied to a bed, sleeping, just like being nourished and alive, like experimental objects. Several people in a closed space, what will be triggered? They are not the ones who witness all this, but the observers outside the box. Some, li some little bottles, are these decorations? Nothing in the desk. Some novels and dictionaries on the shelves. In the closet, there are some clothes. Uh, there are some of Angelica's clothes. You want to smell the pillow? God damn it. There is the smell of old grandma. So what does the toy... Oh, the toy doesn't say anything. The plant's mother keeps cultivating. She said it produces the oxygen. There's no need to go in the shower room. 
power room is written. Library. A book called Clues of the Garden World 1. Want to read it? In this garden, future varies according, uh, according to choices you make. Especially the important choices will use red words to demonstrate. Is this just a tutorial room? A world has four endings. B world has two endings waiting for you. After you reached all the endings, the door of truth shall finally open. A book called Clues of the Garden World 2. Inside this garden, all sorts of signs are used. Places that's related to the storyline or places of uh or a place of hint and comment will show uh will show bubbles. Uh place of props or place uh place of characters will show shining. Uh conversation events or main characters thinking scene thinking scenes will show circles. Other important parts, uh, when it when it comes to the end of the day, will show stars. Talking to Usa can preserve current progress. Usa's back, like he always has been. Oh, but called Ice Book of the Soul. Wanna read it? In this world, in this world, uh, there are crystals called Ice Block of the Soul. Inside a human heart, joy, fear, anger, sadness, uh, and sadness. Uh, when these happen, a, a matter formed by all these emotions will, com will. A matter is formed by all these emotions combined. By touching this crystal, you might be able to see someone's heart. A book called Will Cyborg Dream of the White Box. Want to read it? Yes. Cyborgs are made by human. By humans. They're objects without souls. No facial expressions. No tears. Incom uh, incompleted robot. The world is end. Everything... Oh, the world ended. Everything got destroyed. In this sealed world, what kind of ending will four humans and one bio-cyborg face? Love. Forgiveness. Wait, love, forgive, and kill each other. There's only living together or death. The called... Uh... Dogura... Megira. Want to read that? Okay. Fetus, fetus, why you jump? Is it because you understand mother's heart? Feeling afraid? Story happened in a mental asylum. Old clock starts ringing. Main character with amnesia woke up. Doctor claims main character got involved in some crimes using psycho disabilities. Keep reading uh, that file. Keep retrieving his memories. Confront the cruel end. Pen and paper. It's uh, it's the world map. It has many cricket-shaped drawings. A book called Angel and Demon. Wanna read it? Yes. Filled with uh, best happiness, light, hope, and dream world. People live in such uh, in such worlds. Foolish human. They've committed countless crimes. How many lives will they take? Peace. Peace does not exist. Crimes are all over it. Uh, crimes are all over it. Even order are created. Whatever that means. Finally, everyone's the same. Kill, take, death. Boring, boring, boring. Kill, 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 kill. Words after that are broken and can't be read. It's a drawing of a flower. That's a flower? I thought that was an old guy. Oh my god, it's a flower vase. A book called Makoto Mobius. 
<laughs> yes, read it right now. The boy went to school as usual. It was gray every day. Until his classmate's next desk passed, passed away. A beautiful girl with long hair who barely talked. The boy tried to save her with the magic spell to go back in time. To repeat the time. Don't know when it, don't know when it was. He, lo he was lost in the maze of time. Called Tsukimi Planet. Oh my god. Wait. This is, a, this is a game I haven't played, haven't I? A young boy with, with a short life who met an alien girl from the moon. The girl asked the boy about his last wish. You are about to die? Tell me your wish. Whatever it is, it will make it, I will make it come true before your death. Book called The Great Prophecy of the Century. Sepia Mimosa 19 something year. The Prophecy of Sepia Mimosa, which ac accurately predicted many disasters. Uh, year 20 something. The land of the north will be buried under the endless snow, so it will perish. I think these are all... Oh! Menhera Ref... Uh... Uh... Menhera Ref... Uh... Menhera Ref... Uh, Menhera Refle Refreshia, there we go. This is another game that... Yeah, these are all like, already existing games, this is just like... Would you like to read it? Yes. This is just teaser heaven, basically. Like everyone else, I am just a human being, and the story that makes five flowers bloom. We have always been alone, so fickle. Committed so many sins, but can't be aware of it. Violence hurts. Raving breaks hearts. Everyone knows it, but, 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 but pretends not to notice. The more sins we make, the less we see our own unfortunate, unfortunateness. Can't notice we are the perpetrator. The world we live in can distort the fact of love. It is a cruel and unreasonable world. A book, you, me, and empty words. Wanna read it? It's a, I bet it's like a complete jab at it because Sharon didn't like how it turned out. Because of something, the boy decided to travel with his best friend, Akinokun. He is cool and intelligent. He is the best friend of the boy. And the boy admires him. However, he refused to, uh, to go to the hot spring with the boy. When on earth is that? The curious boy couldn't help himself to take Akinokun's clothes. It's a drawing of a man. The drawing of a woman. A keep quiet sticker. Did mother put it here? Okay. That was just a reference. Fucking reference paradise. Warehouse. It seems to be called fire extinguisher. Mother said that it will be used... When there is a fire, how should I use it? Seems to be called ventilation tube. Without that, we will be running out of air. Now loading. Oh. More rooms to explore? Fantastic. It, it wrote nurture room? Okay, let's see. Oh, it's a uh, garden. I think this is using like generic RPG Maker assets. Which is a little bit lazy. There's a lot of water in the bucket. It is the well. You can get water from here. 
Because I remember seeing these assets in Coffin of Ashes, and I know that game has almost no... Uh, no original assets. Allegedly, it can control electric machines. Uh, mother said, Suna and I cannot touch it. It wrote, uh, uh, it says underground tunnels. Looks like just swiping the key card through here will, uh, the door will open. It's locked. It seems to be called the ventilation tube. Without that, we'll be running out of air. Engraved, uh, says Maggie's room. That's mother, right? Smell the toilet? Fucking pervert. There's a sweet smell. How? It's a fucking toilet. Smell the pillow. There's a smell of flowers. There are cups in the teapot. With mother's favorite, the, pe the peach tea. Full of menus from today to a week from now. The huge save box. On the shelf, there are bottles in different shapes. They contain drugs that might be used when getting sick or injured. The photo of an unknown, unknown woman and a baby. The woman had a smile on her face. The closet, in the closet, there are some clothes of mother. Smell the bathroom? Sure. But it's sour smelling, you think? Hotaro. Hotaro has conquered conquered all the smells in the bathroom. Gained the title Ammonia Conqueror? Wait, so did I miss the... It seems to be a thing called... Uh, electronic Terminal. Can play all kinds of stuff called game. Even if you... Lose... Or died midway in a game, it appears you can start over no matter how many times you have to do. If only my life can start over, already will. It's Mikuri's desk. Lots of notes are, are stuck to it. Is, is there something in the vault? Lots of books on the shelf. Uh, are written in a weird language. On the bookshelf are books. Uh, on the bookshelf are hard to hard to read books. Uh, Paper is scattered everywhere. Is this some kind of research? This is so chaotic. Perhaps Mikuri herself couldn't get a hold of everything here. Put some Mikuri's clothes in the in the closet. Book named Dying World. All these complicated characters I just can't read. So this is what Mikuri's been reading. Paper is everywhere. Appears to be a note Mikuri wrote. With all these words that's hard to comprehend. Now the pillow, sure. Aroma of memories. And Griff says engine room. What's this? It's a gigantic machine. It's locked. Uh, I think I missed, like, something. Locked. Oh, not that. Wait, this is my room, right? Wait, I only have a urinal? urinal? What if I need to take a shit? You want to smell a pillow? There's a smell of sweat. Conquered the smell of pillows. <laughs> God damn it, man. Um. Oh, there we go. Ah, there you are. We are waiting for you, Otaro. Take your seat. 
<laughs> Good morning, Hotaro. Did you sleep well last night? Good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. Hi, Totaro. You little sleep, uh, you little sleepy bad boy. Hey, Maggie. Can I have a Hotaro sandwich? Hotaro overslept. He's a bad boy, isn't he? No, Tsuna, that's for Hotaro. If you are still hungry, you can just have mine. Really? Maggie's? Can I? Wow, great! <laughs> you are... Uh, you are all very pumped. But, Tsuna, don't be too... Uh, caprice. You're making Maggie confused. Uh, but Tsuna's gonna be hungry with only this much. It's not enough. Hey, are you spoiling this little devil? The food is precious, are you sure? Of course, Mikuri. Don't worry about it, I'm fine. I can still do my job without that much, it's okay. Well, whatever. Mother is my favorite person. The handiest and brightest who can do everything. Uh, no matter being in charge of the life here, or doing laundry, cooking, it's all mother. Thanks to mother, we can keep living. I need to go make tea. This is Angelica. She is mother's best female friend. Her steady personality seems to sink in rhythm with mother. She is like an old gr uh, grandma figure in these people. At least that's what I think in my mind. This annoying one is Tuna. Don't take her lightly. She is actually older than me. Mother said I am more mature spiritually, so I am better. The distant looking one is Mikuri. I'm not quite sure whether she is male or female. Her appearance is very intimidating. Being stared by her is like being stared by a snake. In the white space, five of us live together. We finish breakfast as usual. A regular morning, a regular dawn. Blink of an eye, another day passed by. No matter today or tomorrow, every day is the same. It's boring, don't you think so? I'm good. What's in Hotaro's head? Mama knows it all. But actually, not every day is repeating the same thing. I thought... Hotaro might not understand what it means. For me, every day is changing. Every day I'm looking forward to see Hotaro and Tsuna keep growing. This irreplace... Uh, this... Uh, this irreplaceable feeling can last forever and ever, I believe so. You are all my favorites. Hotaro feels the same, right? Hey, Hotaro, don't, don't run, it's dangerous. You ran off once and you fell. Be careful, Hotaro. Don't make yourself cry again. What a great day. It's a joyful morning, Hotaro. Why don't you go play? Tsuna seems to be bored. Ah, but just like before, don't get over your head. What is that look? Seriously, stop that. Listen to mother. Ahia, yo, Hotaro. Ahia? What? 
What's wrong, mother? Uh, there is something... Just thinking... Uh, just thinking it's about time to ship supplies. Because everyone's good appet... Everyone has, uh, good appetite, so we were... So we are consuming quite fast. It's gonna be... It's gonna be a problem. Right, Hotaro. Just on time. Can you find Angelica for me? Okay. Thank you. This, uh, this is the door that leads to the underground tunnels. It seems to be connected to the gigantic food storage ahead. Because the warehouse can only store so much food, so it appears uh, to need regular shipping. Mother kept the keys, so I can't, so we can't get in. This is the dining room, where everyone eats. Kitch the kitchen is here too. Although, Mother's cooking is truly delicious, but Angelica and Mikuri's cuisine just don't really fit my stomach. This is the greenhouse. It is a room used for... Uh, flowers are plant... Wait. It's OBS. Um... Why is it's it's saying connections, but you know what? I'll wait for the connection to reappear, so I'm just gonna go make tea.
I'm back. I'm muted. I don't know how I'm muted, but I'm muted. Flowers are planted out of mother's interest. I sometimes uh, would make a a a, a wreath. What what the fuck is a wreath with tuna? Like a mess, maybe. I know that that is called a carrot. It is a vegetable. Rabbit's favorite vegetable. Why don't we, why don't we feed the bunny next time? It's mother's favorite flower. I remember the name is Blue Star. I know this. It's called Blue Star, right? Maggie had told me this is her favorite flower. The meaning of this kind of flower is well, what was it again? I forgot. I'll ask Maggie again next time. Hey, what should we play today? Play ghost? Play house? Play hide and seek? Or we can make a, a wreath. What the fuck is a wreath? Or maybe go into the engine room. It is boring to play the same thing. I sometimes want to play differently. But it always... But it always... But I always think about what to play. You should think too. If you find anything fun, just come and tell me, Hotaro. Hey, Hotaro, I just had a great idea. Mikuri was staring at me when I was playing earlier. So I want to revenge and play a prank on her, haha. <laughs> what about stealing Mikuri's books? We can't do that. Ah, uh, why not? You're bad. I hate Mikuri, she gave me the cold shoulder. She is way too bad compared to uh, Maggie and Angelica. Um, they're not disappearing, so I guess. This is my room. It has bed, desk, toilet, sink, everything necessary of life. These are the books chosen by mother. She asked me to read before I go to bed. Do I... Do I do something? This is Tuna's room. Although Tuna looks like that, because she doesn't want to be nagged by mother, she cleans her room up. I should have cleaned up my room. Okay, hold on. This is Angelica's room. Compared to the rooms of other people, there are not m much stuff. According to herself, she is not interested. The simple is the simple is best. This is the shower room. A narrow room with only water coming out. Mother would help us wash our body before we, we slept. I hate showers. Here is a library. This is the only room that has a lot of books. Angelica always comes here to read. Mother doesn't come here very often because she can't read. Read it? No. That book! They call it a cursed book, as it will. Uh, wait. They call it a cursed book, as it will cause reader's psychic disorder. 
endless cloister world. Even the readers who finished this book can't really figure out the ending. Great, right? Hmm. Hotaro really likes reading. That's good. Uh, you probably can't understand it now, but when you grow up and read it again, you might feel a very different story. That's why people can't help reading. Hotaro too, when you read all kinds of books over, you will finally express what the author really tries to express. The world map. Ah, uh -huh. are you curious about that map? This is called a map, no shit. It records the world we live in. Does Hotaro know? A long time ago, humans lived in huge continents. We we're supposed to live under broad sky, crystal blue sea, uh, uh... Oh, they forgot the space. Crystal blue sea and surrounded by nature. Not this narrow small place. The free world. What a beautiful fairy tale. Does Hotaro want to see the sky, the ocean, and nature? That kind of stuff doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> Honestly, after this stream, I don't think I'll ever see the sky again, so... That might be true. Can't be sure if it's real unless you have seen it with your own eyes. Have you seen it? I'm not sure. I've never seen the fo- Well, I've seen the photos many times. But I'm fine with just... Uh... We'll just keep on going like this because... I only have one wish. That is creating a forever wonderland with Maggie and others. <laughs> Don't tell anyone yet. Uh, the soldier wants to see- yes. Yes, just keep praying. One day we'll s we'll eventually see it. Does it really exist? I'm not sure, I've seen the photos many times. But I'm fine with just keep going- yeah, okay. A book called Angel and Demon. Wanna read it? I didn't want to read it. Abla! What's wrong? Isn't that book too hard for you? Said that there are angels and demons lying under a human's art. The angel leads humans to the right direction, talking to people into good deeds and having compassion. The demon leads humans towards evil, taking people into bad deeds and make evil choices. Story of our paradise. Which side will, will it tilt? Who will make the choice? I just can't wait to see the ending in this distant future. How rare that Hotaro came to the library. The books here are all interesting. You could try some if you want. Although, all the special books were borrowed by Mikuri. Ara! What is it? What is it? Maggie is asking for me? Okay, I'll go find her. After I finish this book. Thank you for letting me know, Hotaro. This is the warehouse. We can't go inside because Mother is taking care of the keys. Uh, it seems to have necessities and, the f uh, and food carried from the basement. Potter, did you find Angelica? Uh, she's gonna need a minute. Yeah, okay, I know. She's right behind me. Um. Oh. I'm going to the warehouse. Be a good boy and stay here, Potaro. Can I say I'm coming too? No, you can't. The way to the warehouse is dangerous. That's no place for kids. You understand, right, Hotaro? I'm going anyways. Foolish kid.
You are still a little kid. Are you worried about me? It's okay, Hotaro. I will come back. We have a deal. Also, Angelica is coming with me. I'm not alone. You can relax. I'm going. I said no. Enough is enough. Hotaro, aren't you going to listen to mommy? Don't listen to mom to get in. What? Hotaro, please don't cause any more trouble. Okay? You're a good kid. Mom will be back. I will try to make it back sooner. Or don't... Or you don't believe mother. I don't. Fine, you misbehave bad boy, I understand. Hotaro, you can come along. But... I, I don't know what might happen. You must get the foods from the underground warehouse on schedule. The path to that place is very dangerous. If not with adults, I might lose my life. The door is usually locked, and the key is kept by Mother and Angelica. As I regret coming with them, we walk to our destination. In the darkness, I hold Mother's hand tight. Then, the painful time that I thought would go on forever finally comes to an end. We come back, safely. I've been here ever since I was born. Good morning, little sleepy. I should keep it before you sleep. Listen to your mother. Did I get an ending? It's pitch black and freezing cold here. Can't even make your own decisions. Give me rations in this place. It might seem peaceful, but it's creepy as hell. Okay. We've been kept breeding like a livestock here. Since going to play with everyone, it must be fun. Don't think about those complicated things. Maggie told me so. You just can't leave here. <laughs> You're all very pumped in the morning. And I have one wish. I want to build an everlasting paradise with Maggie and everyone. I literally couldn't read. <laughs> Just like little birds in the cage. In this white box, we keep on living. Just like that, we slowly move towards the ruin. Aware of nothing and thinking about nothing. Oh, to achieve the goal. Any mean could be used to maintain the peace. Everything could be done. No matter who was killed or what was broken, these unavoidable sacrifice for peace. The world is full of killing, rage, and plunder. People who forces others to fulfill themselves People who are played by a strong will eventually leads to destruction. The electronic terminal in front of you is the entrance to the endless world. Why things can't be replayed? Why don't you th why do you think replay is granted? Can be replayed. Why do you think replay is granted? Since whatever you do is just 
imit uh, an imitation of others, then shall you suffer from the pain. Reality can never replay. You have to think and choose for your future. Then understand the meaning of life. You have to keep making choices using, using your own will. Even in the end, what waits for you is the, is the fire burn of karma. God damn, Angelica. Second day. Oh. Good morning, Otaro. Did you sleep well? What book are you reading? I'm reading a book called Noah's Garden. Hotaro, have you ever thought about it? We are actually in a dream. In the real, uh, in the real life. Our bodies are kept in a facility. Our mind is in the garden, dreaming about, dreaming about the same things. What is the real purpose? What do they want us to do in the garden? Don't you think it's interesting? What are you talking about? Don't look at me like... Don't look at me in such a confused face. These are all my imagination. Don't take it serious. I didn't mean to confuse you. Noah's Garden. Want to read? Yes. In this story, there are different endings in a closed space. There will be truth in the end. They were kept in the box. Everything seen or heard are all dreams. Being tied, being tied to a bed, sleeping, just being nourished and alive, like experimental objects. Several people are in a closed space. What will be triggered? They are not the ones who witness all this, but the observers are, uh, observers outside the box. It's incredible. Don't you see it? In, uh, don't you see it in the same way? What is written in the book, and what we are experiencing. If the book is talking about our story, then why is it like this? We are the experimental object, which means that we are the lab rats. I want to go out to see those observers. What a peaceful day. What is waiting for us at the end of this piece? I sometimes would, would imagine if something like this happens, what will everybody act? If we have the power of seeing through the future, it must be more boring than now. So let it be. Those things unknown should remain unknown. Because that's more interesting. What if I... Oh, I can't sniff the bed. Won't let me. Alright. Hold that road. This is prohibited. Staring at my room so recklessly. That will make me feel shy. Are you looking for something? What? I don't look shy at all. There's no such thing. What are you doing? I'm reading a book called Noah's Garden. Have you ever thought about it? We're actually in the dream. Uh, in the real life, our bodies are kept in a facility. Our minds in a garden, dreaming about the same things. I don't know. Look at me with that confused face. These are all my imagination. Don't take it seriously. I didn't mean to confuse you. Okay. Oh, it's Hotaro. Jesus Christ, she looks like a crazy bitch. Oh, it's Hotaro. Don't sorrow me like that. Are you here for me? Do you need anything? Did Maggie ask you to? Do not leak my info to her. If we fight again, I really can't deal with it. I really wish that kind of stuff not happening again. Hotaru, are you there? How is Maggie now? No, nothing. 
I just don't understand what she's thinking. Sometimes she gives out inhuman faces. Maybe she is not human. Don't look at me like that, I'm just kidding. Um. Oh, there we go. Meaningless life. Damn it. Only I have noticed. I will change it. We can't just keep doing this. We need to get out of here. Otherwise, we'll be brainwashed again. Damn, it's supposed to be here. Who took it? It must be Maggie. What are you looking for? As you can see, I am investigating. I'm looking for a book. No, I want to read it no matter what it takes. What's its name? Actually, you don't have to help me. It's a book called Wonderful Tokyo. Tell me if you happen to see it. Don't tell Maggie and others that I'm looking for this book. Oh, Usa! Usa is the universal save point. Would you like to save, Usa? Wait. I don't... Ah, uh, it's Otaro. Good morning, Otaro. Hey, listen to me. I just came up with a brilliant idea. Tsuna might be a genius. Have, has Otaro been to the engine room? Man well, said it's not allowed. I thought so. Listen to me. Yesterday Angelica told me. She said in the engine room there are a lot of things called machines. And these machines is made of iron and electricity and stuff. Impressive, right? Potaro, let's go to the engine room. Then, Tsuna is gonna play with everyone. It must be fun. We'll get yelled at. Uh, Potaro is a coward. Never mind, then Tsuna can just go alone. Ah. But I remember it's locked. We still need to get sister's approval. Now, Otaro. Don't you think Mikuri is a bit scary? Tsuna's not the only one who's, th who's thinking that. She has called to Maggie and others too. And say mean things. What a douche. Tsuna will never forgive her. Why is Mikuri here with us? All we need is Tsuna and sisters. Potaro, look! It's a bunny! Usa is here! We can save now! Super cute, can I touch it? So soft! And fuzzy! Should I feed the carrots? What do you think, Hotaro? Yes, feed the Usa. Huh? Should we play today? Repeating the same every day, soon I feels bored. Wish something fun could happen, like an event or something. For example, Mikuri went missing, then everyone goes look looking for her. Sounds fun. I'm tired of the simple hide and seek. Some exciting things might uh, might be fun. Teacups and teapot. And a teapot. Mother's favorite peach tea is in it. Ah, Hotaro, do you want some peach tea? Ah, Ap the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It tastes good like me. Oh, a good taste like me. Yeah, that that sound that did not come out the way I wanted it to. Um, it's not unacceptable, but it's but isn't it too soon for Hotaro? When you're older, you can have as much as you want. Appears to be called a freezer. They said it will freeze the food and store them. I know Tsuna often sneaks in here to steal food. Stop being naughty, no snacks in there today. Don't be like Tsuna, seriously. Don't learn these bad behaviors. Meal will soon be ready. Sit, 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 sit tight. It's a kitchen. Used kitchen supplies are just lying there. Wait, Hotaro, don't touch it. Uh, snitching is not good. Just wait a minute. We'll eat soon. Snitching? Seriously, your curiosity and appetite are both, are both vigorous. Troublesome. However, 
Vigorous kids are the best. Eat so that you will grow up fast, both Hotaro and Tsuna. Wow, I was just about to wake you up. You woke up by yourself today. Good boy, Hotaro. Okay, since you performed quite well, today I'm going to make you a snack. Really? Of course, just wait for it. It would be great if it's a cookie. Of course, just wait for it. Alright. Okay, so I need to look for a book. Uh. Oh, what's this? The plant mother keeps cultivating said that it produces oxy oxygen and makes the air more tastier. There's something under the flower pot. A I found, found a book called Wonderful Tokyo. Found it. Alright. Let's go give it. Let's go give it to... What was her name? Mikio. Not you. Mikuri. Right. That sort of name is. You found it? Where was it? I found it in Mother's room. That's it doesn't really want she does she really doesn't want me to see it thank you I'll read it now is it dinner time tell Maggie that I will come after I'm finished wait wait Morning, Hotaro. Um, shit. Okay, never mind. Morning, Hotaro. I haven't. I thought so. Listen to me. Yesterday Angelica told me. She said uh, she said in the engine room there are a lot of things called machines. And these machines made of iron and electricity and stuff. Impressive, right? Hotaro, let's go into the engine room. Then, Suna's gonna play with everyone. It must be fun. We can't. Okay. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to talk to you again. Food is ready. Potaro, go get everyone. Okay. Wow, smells delicious. I'm digging in. Wait, that's rude, Suna. Take a seat before you eat. Where is Mikuri? Isn't she hungry? Uh, she said she's busy now. Um, well, fine. I will bring the food to her later. This happens all the time anyway. I'm used to it. She seems to be very passionate about some research lately. Mikuri, what is she do- what is she really doing? Um, who knows. It would be great if she could help out with the chores. <laughs> That's true, but I don't think she will... Uh, I don't think she went along with it. Is me is Mikuri doing some inventions? Inventions? You mean robots? I'm a bit curious now. Robots? Awesome! Mikuri must be a genius. Although I don't although I don't get it, but if it's a cleaning robot, a laundry robot, or a robot for agriculture work, I would love to invest. 
Seriously, I don't know what you are talking about. I'm not a genius nor some scientist or inventor. Speak of the devil. <laughs> what were you doing, Mikuri? Just reading some books. Never mind. Ah, right. Hey, Maggie. What kind of game are we going to play today? I'm sorry, Tsuna. It is my turn to the field, so I can't play with you. Potaro, can you hang out with Tsuna later? Uh, no problem. Wait, Tsuna wants to play with Maggie. Hey, don't make it hard for Maggie. But, I mean... I've been playing with Hotaro all the time. Sometimes I like to play with Maggie. Alright, alright, maybe next time. Uh, I'm so sad. Haha, <laughs> what a delightful morning. Too cheerful is also a problem. Don't go overboard. Usa. It also... Like, this is supposed to be Usa speaking, but... It shows Hotaro as the, the portrait character. It's locked. I mean, Hotaro, don't you have any doubts? Where is this? Who are we? What purpose do we have? What are we living for? You know nothing, and you've been told nothing, right? Maybe this is how it ends, since we've been raised like this. Still, I want to know. There's only one thing I cannot accept, that is dying without knowing the truth. Uh... There is only one thing I cannot accept, that is I'm about knowing the truth. I will get to the bottom of this. Hotaro, do you like this place? Life here, wandering around doing nothing. In this white space, can't even see the ocean and sky. If you like it, then just stay that way. Don't try to change anything, or long for anything. Don't look for anything. Don't try to seek the truth. What you need to be is Maggie's good boy. It's your life. You want to go in to that direction. Well, I don't have the right to stop you, right? You're still awake? It's bedtime for kids, Hotaro. But tonight is a bit chilly. Is it the cold? Nah, uh, don't worry. I'm just talking to myself. It's a bit weird. I got chills. Before strange things happened. I got some bad I got a bad feeling. I was just I hope it's just a hunch. Put some Mikuri's clothes in the closet. Scrab uh Scrabble note. Did Mikuri write it? Uh date back to the t uh to the times, the outside world. If Sepia Mimosa's great prophecy come comes true, what would Hokkaido look like now? Eternal snow that never stops. Is really still raining? If that is true, then this facility is so warm. Over the years, this facility has always been sufficient with power and heating. If the conditions outside is truly that bad, then where does this life uh, then where does this lifeline come from? What an odd place. The timeline now is so confusing. Need to do more digging. Lots of books on the on the shelf is written weird language. Sloppy notes are written between books. Did Mikuri write this? 
things can be remembered. This facility. Although the ones controlling this facility are gone, the, the big hand behind behind this is running ev is is running everything now. Probably didn't think about leaving. It's gone beyond my my reach. If we don't do something quick, there is only future of total destruction waiting for us. Can't sleep. How rare for you to come to me. That's so. Thank you for helping me. Uh, thank you for helping me look for that book back then. You were a great help. Do you know Tokyo? You've heard of the name. You've heard of the name? Thought Maggie seems to hate bringing that, bringing up that name. True. You, you can get anything like a dream city. No matter what food, supplies, shelter, or jobs, it's got everything. A city like that, you believe is real? I don't know. Even though it's base, it's a baseless urban, urban myth. But maybe believing in it would be better. I mean, don't you have any doubts about our lives here? <sighs> Don't you get it? We're planning on living here in this confined space for the rest of our lives. Haven't you ever thought about getting out of here? Given rations in this empty place, it seems peaceful, but it's really but it's creepy as hell. All that matters is that we're happy as long as, as we can live, live peacefully. Peaceful. Is that truly what you think? No. Uh, no only things. Others still. Only things other than still and taught us are real. Living for what Maggie taught you you will know nothing. You can't even make a decision on your own. Hotaro, stay in this cage for the rest of your life. I can't even tell the difference between right and wrong. Be Maggie's puppet for eternity. Be Maggie's puppet for eternity. Is it too harsh? We mean harsh? Is it too harsh? But truth comes on hard. Give it a thought. And have a moment alone. There's just something there. Ah, uh, what should I play tomorrow? What do you want to play? I've been playing the I've been playing the same things recently. I'm a little bored of it. Hide and seek needs to run, and Mikuri would show a terrible face. Right. What about treasure hunting in Mikuri's room tomorrow? Have you been in Mikuri's room? There are a lot of strange stuff. That seems interesting. Let's name it Mikuri's room treasure hunting. Aren't you sleepy, Hotaro? If you are still awake, come play with me. Ah, uh, but when we played, uh, b when we played late last time, uh, we were lessened. We were lessened by Maggie. Damn it! Why should kids sleep early? The grown-ups can stay up late, that's not fair. I want to grow up. I'm telling you this, I have a great idea. When I grow up, I can be your wife. I heard that when a boy and a girl grow up, they can get married and become happy. Why don't we get married and be happy, Hotaro? Let's try to sleep in the same bed. 
I I'm I'm stuck. Can you move? She I'm I'm stuck. She oh my god. She wants to go up, but she can't because because there's a wall there. Are you fucking kidding me? I had a lot of fun today, Hotaro. I'm going to have more fun tomorrow. I'll be super happy if we can play with Maggie. Uh, I'm so sleepy. Good night, Hotaro. I'm going to bed. Uh, are you? Um. Yeah. I would really love for you to move right now. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move. I'm. I'm. I'm literally. I'm soft lock. Tuna literally, literally like. Tuna is in the way. I can't. I can't move. I guess I have to reset the game. Literally my only option right now. That's amazing. Please don't soft lock me again. Do not. Okay. Move. Okay. Guess I. Guess I can't do anything. Okay. Why do humans live? Are you interested in my hypothesis? Let me see. As an answer that could be seen everywhere, finding the meaning of life isn't too bad. The world is like an unreasonable game. We could not choose the place to be born, our race and gender. It's like randomly displayed cards. Everyone has different conditions to be born with. If you have bad luck, you will die, or you have to fight against the final boss with the worst nature. Then, why would we keep playing such unreasonable game? There might be some outsiders who enjoy seeing us suffer. The possibility isn't zero, right? The days are for granted. The time is peacefully is peacefully passed. Beautiful process of going to the paradise built for everyone by Maggie and me. What an interesting name. This is wonderful. This is a boring place, although I've been making unrealistic imaginations. I'm a little interested now about the paradise built by Maggie. Uh, what will happen if this arc comes to an end? Let me witness it till the end and write it in the book. Where do you think here is? A confused face again, let me think. I'm I'm asking about where exactly are we living in this world. That's what I'm talking about. It might be at the bottom of the sea. And we've been living under the sea. This could be one of our answers. 
It might also be a huge airship. And we've been living in the sky. Even now we are flying in the sky. This could be another answer. Or this place does not exist and our lives are created. Everything uh, is a designed dream. This is the third answer. Of course, there could, there could be no correct answer. You ask why I'm thinking about such thing? I am just wasting my time. Nevertheless, it's really boring here. Life is all about making choices. Have you ever heard about that? Never. In our lives, we keep repeating the action of choosing. For example, we choose to eat breakfast or not to. If you choose to eat breakfast, you'll be energetic and play all day long, right? But if you choose not to, you might starve and can't play anymore. Depending on, the dif depending on different choices, sometimes it may save your life. We are making choices using our own will. Once we have made a choice, we cannot go back again. That's why life is so interesting. Life is all about making choices, because you cannot go back. Every single choice is meaningful. Even if you feel distressed by the ultimate choice, Oh, Hotaro, you look sleepy. <laughs> Is this topic too deep for you? Alright. Hi, Usa. Uh, I'm just gonna skip through this dialogue just because... I from now on want to live with you guys happily ever after. Peace is the best. Fighting is absolutely wrong. Everyone can give a smile every single day. That is my best wish. I will protect every, every one of you, so it's okay. You don't have to worry about anything. Ah, what's wrong with me? I just said something like that. It must be some there must be something wrong with me. You didn't have to take that seriously. You don't have to worry about anything. Potaro, if there's anything sad, uh, if there's anything sad, uh, or you're suffering, come to mother. I will help you out. If there is anything, if there's anything happier that makes you smile, come to mother. That would double the joy. If you could be happy. I would also be pleased. It's okay. I'm always on your side. The photo of an unknown woman and a baby. The woman had a smile on her face. Are you concerned about it? The photo? Who do you think are in the picture? I'm just kidding. You can't know that. Let me see. When you grow up a little bit... When you grow up a little bit taller than me... Wait until then, I would tell you. You might be shocked, but uh, I'm fine. It's okay, because I love you so much. Um. Hotaro. You can't get, yeah, you can't sleep? <laughs> Me too. I was thinking about something. Are you troubled? Well, maybe. Do you have anything that you want to protect even with your life? No matter who are you going to fight against or what are we going to lose? To protect 
the most important thing. Anything could be sacrificed. Is it wrong to think this way? As long as I can protect the, the most important things, I can even sacrifice my own life. Oh. Shit. That is wrong. Ah, well, that's right. Clearly, it is peaceful and happy as usual. Why am I bothering with such a thing? I should get away with such dangerous ideas. Ah, it is so late, Hotaro. You will get up late tomorrow. You have to brush your teeth before you sleep. Listen to your mother. Thank you, Usa. Cafeteria. Oh, wait. Uh, what was my room again? Oh, there it is. I should go to bed today. Sure. What do I do before sleep? Read. Wonderful Tokyo, Yumi and Empty Words. Uh, I already read Yumi and Empty Words. Let's read Wonderful Tokyo. Tokyo is a wonderful city. Food, work, resources, and everything. Tokyo is a city that people can live comfortab comfortably. Compared to Hokkaido. Question. Are the prices high? A. Not much different from Hokkaido. Compared to Hokkaido. Are the rents high? If you live further away from downtown, it would be inexpensive. Even if it is, even if it's not downtown, it is still convenient because of developed transportation network. Compared to Hokkaido, lots of job opportunities. Unlike Hokkaido, which is in a in a depression, it is not difficult to find a job. You can survive on daily part-time jobs. Are the salaries high? First of all, the minimum wage is different. The average salary is also higher in Tokyo if you work in a company. What do I do before sleep? Meditate. What do you think about life here about Mikuri? Life here. It is as usual boring. Wake up as usual in the white place, eat, play. If, just like mother said, this peace would last till death, and I do wish so. Even when we grow up, become old, become an old grandpa and grandma. As long as everyone could keep smiling at this place. In this place till the last moment of our lives. May I say it again? Think about me, pretty. What was the, what was Mikuri thinking about? You cannot make your own decision, even about even about yourself. Hotaro. You just stay in this jail forever. You can't tell them you can't tell what is right or wrong. Just be Maggie's red doll. It is clearly the best if the daily routine would go on. But she wants to destroy it. Am I mistaken something? What do I do before sleep? Just sleep. Good night. I had a wonderful day today. Tomorrow must be peaceful and happy. What about just going to bed today? Good night. That night. Everything was over. Maggie has died. Angelica, 
Mikri and Suna have died. And the young boy also. To be born in this white box, imprisoned, somehow come to an end of destiny because of the future chosen by the boy himself. He could never open his eyes again. Bad end. The end of the unfavored. Thank you for playing. Clear password 1E. Alright. That's the first code of the password. All right, let's. All right, here's where. All right. All right, I think so. Exactly, Hotaro. No matter what costs, there is something that we want to protect. Irreplaceable, important thing. Things. I will protect it well. Def definitely guard it. I didn't talk to Mikuri, right? What if I meditate? What about Mikuri? What does Mikuri think about you? Can I make her understand? Oh, it's still said the same thing. Just sleep. Good night. I had a wonderful day today. Tomorrow must be peaceful and happy. And happy. What about just going to bed today? Good night. Oh, okay. In the bo in the white box, why are you dancing? Violating and resisting its will. What are you hoping and looking for? Don't drift with the river. But don't go upstream instead. Don't don't drift in the river to go upstream instead. As long as you stop thinking, staring at the given gifts, or drift with the river, you can live easily. You'll finally know one day, know what a mistake that decision was. And finally, find out again. It is never a complete mistake. Third day. Hold on, I missed a, I missed a couple of things. Uh, let me... I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna... Hold on, before I interact with her. Usa. My mo my man. My bun. Uh instead of this. I am a little bunny. Okay. Now I'm gonna reset. Um I'm gonna um start a new game. Which should keep my my save files still intact, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna try to get the bad endings first.
Okay. Now. Just wish there was a way to to skip this dialogue. God damn it. Hmm. My back hurts. Oh, I was trying to click on good morning, but okay. So how many days are there? One. Like first day. Um, there's like a weird pause between like the, between like when an event starts and like when the, when the like dialogue box out the text. And also the sprites flicker when, when, uh, when the expression changes for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know if this is, like, the fault of the game or the fault of my computer, I don't know. First, I want to see you. Uh, I want to talk to Mikari. There you go. Right. Hotaro, what is it? You've been staring at me since then. Do you want me to play with you? I'm sorry, but I don't know how to entertain the kid. It's no use. If you understand, go play with Suna. Come on, can you be quiet? It still doesn't uh, fit me playing with kids and stuff. How about that? I respect Angelica and Maggie sincerely. Please stop jumping on my nerves. I'm thinking. You're so quiet. Usually, you'll be making a fuss pissing Maggie off. Compared to that, it's very troublesome. Did something bad happen? I wish it's nothing. I wish it's nothing. No matter what it is. Potaro. You're so energetic. I know you are very excited, but don't wander off. It's not safe, you might bump into something. Tell Tsuna the same. She said I shouldn't touch anything in her room. Oh, uh, I skipped the dialogue. Well, I said Mikuri's room. A mess as usual. Pages of books are all over the place. Seems that she borrowed a lot of books from the library and is investigating something. Here's the engine room. Because Mother had the key, normally we're not allowed in there. Mother says it's dangerous inside, warns not to go in. Although I tried to stay away from here. Suna is always going on about going inside and often pisses Mother off. Right, let's talk to you. Might as well spell this.
Both at all? You're so energetic. I know you're very excited, but don't wander off. It's not safe to bump Totsu the same. Oh, so there's nothing here. Like, there's no... There isn't anything that, like, I need. This is the shower room. Oh. It's Angelica's room. Like, there aren't any other events, basically. So let me see. Angelica is right behind me. And then... I agree in letting her go alone. I don't go with her. I'm going to the warehouse. Be a good boy and stay here, Hotaro. Be careful. Thank you. I'm heading out, Hotaro. We must get the foods from the underground warehouse on schedule. The path to that place is very dangerous. If not with adults, I might lose my life. The door is usually locked, and the key is kept by Mother and Angelica. I wait for Mother as I usually do, while leaving the warmth that I feel when I hold Mother's hand. And then, Mother has never come back. I've seen this already. Life is, a, life is a continuation of a choice. You cannot turn back. this terminal. It is impossible in reality. sense is paralyzed. This is your dream or reality? Is this your dream or reality? 
This world in your eyes, is it really the reality? The world you've been looking at might not be the truth. What is the truth? What is the lie? You know nothing about it. You could only walk alone in the darkness, in this maze with no exit, forever. There is no knowing the reality and the truth. Wait, there is no knowing the reality, and the truth is buried in the darkness. Wait, second day? Oh, B route. Is this true? It is. You're lying. You liar. Liar. Maggie wouldn't go missing. This. This. Mother. How did Maggie went missing? Did she say something in the end? I don't know. The underground tunnels are so dark. I don't know what happened either. Maggie. She was already gone when I realized something is wrong. It's my fault. Everyone, I'm so sorry. Uh, what? Uh, notated? That, that sounds wrong. Uh, Angelica. What a boring ending. Is Maggie the kind of person who dies that easily? Did you do something to Maggie? That sort of thing. It's not going to be over by simply apologizing. I'm still aware of that. But please trust me on this. I swear to God I didn't do anything bad. And Maggie... Maggie, she's my best friend. And how could I possibly do something that cruel? Okay, I'm sorry I doubted you. Anyway... We need to decide what to do next. Decide? What do you mean by decide? Maggie is probably not coming back. I need someone to be in charge of laundry and cooking. Also someone to take care of the shipping. Thinking from the reality aspect is the most basic thing to do in order to survive. All along, we've been dumping this on Maggie. Now, with Maggie gone, we'll have to take over. Enough, Mikuri! Why are you talking like sister is never coming back? Mikuri is a big fool. Maggie is definitely coming back. Definitely. She will never abandon Tsuna and run away. We don't have a choice. What? Well, no, I hate Mikuri. Tsuna will never live with Mikuri. I want to get out to... Uh... Out... Out of this... Out of this foolish hellhole? I'm not here because I like you. I'm trapped here too. Both of you stop. Deciding what to do from... Uh, from now on is important. But first, let's take some time to accept the fact that Maggie is gone. Slowly, wait till they all calm down, then we'll talk about it. Uh, sister. Huh, whatever. You just keep pretending the, ha the happy family will do this. Wait, you just keep pretending you're a happy family. I will do this my own way. Mikuri. Who says the universal save point? Would you like to save yourself? Don't put this in fault then. 
All right, all right, all right. At least now I know. Okay. So that's... So now there's two different routes. I'm going to finish the A route, and then I'll move on to the B route. <gasps> Alright. Continue. Here. Hotaro. Hotaro woke up by himself today again. Great job. Hotaro is a big guy now. Hotaro growing up makes me feel like you're leaving. It makes me feel a little bit lonely. Will you stay by mother? Will you stay with mother forever, Hotaro? Don't leave mother behind. I kind of already did. This is lying on top. Anna, you wanna help? Hotaro is such a good boy. It's dangerous if the, pl if the plates fell and broke, so just stay and wait. Thank you, Hotaro. Mama is glad that you're trying to help. Meal is ready. F food will be on the table soon. Today we're having curry. Smells good, right? Mother is talking about alcohol. So, Tsuna and I can't have any. I should can be a grown-up sooner. That's alcohol. Can kids can't have kids can't have any. Remember what I told you? You asked what would happen. Hmm, perhaps feeling drunk. So uh So getting drunk means getting lightheaded is a really nice feeling. Uh it varies from each per oh my god, this this one is very poorly translated. Oh my god. It varies from each person. Uh, some might not be able to walk straight. Uh, uh, and some will get sleepy. You ask what it feels to not be able to walk straight. Uh, that, that... Anyway, it's too dangerous for kids. You absolutely can't drink it. Uh, absolutely. Make a back with mother. Good morning, Hotaro. Uh, body's in a good shape. Great mood. What a wonderful morning. Today, let's put in hard work, too. Um, if this could last forever... No, it will last. We can live here together, happily. In this paradise, forever. What an unpleasant morning. I'm not feeling well. Did something happen? Because I didn't sleep much last night, I had this bad feeling. Hotaro, are you here out of your own free will? Where did that come from? Were you told to look after me? Answer me. If it's not, I don't understand. Wait, answer me if it's not, I don't understand. Seeking real is a good thing for... Is a good thing or a bad one? Are you gonna do what Maggie said? Planning on becoming someone who Maggie expects you to be? Do you really think that would be better? Don't use your brain. Do as you're told. Living your life un uh, under others' control. Don't you want to stand on the ground by your own feet? I am here by on, on my own free will. Huh? Well... Sorry for asking those questions. Damn it, chest pain, what's going on? Yes, if nothing happens, it would be great. Hotaro, stop walking around. You're distracting me. Please, Hotaro. Sorry. Actually, I knew about it too. During the time here, it would be better to help Maggie. But I just have this unsettling feeling in my heart. I'm not calm enough to live here peacefully yet. I need to find the truth. Give me some time. Don't make noises. I'll get a headache. I've been off since this morning. Uh, 
Alright, I'm gonna, real quick, I'm gonna BRB for like a split second, don't worry, I'll be back, it won't take an hour. Alright, I'll be back.
I'm back. It's about that time. Okay. Ugh. Oh, my back. Okay. Oh, and this bitch is stuck. You know what? I'm not even mad. <laughs> at least she's not stuck at the door. Potaro, good morning. Let's play. Okay, okay, just a moment. Okay, we have to fill up. We have to fill up our stomach first. Is breakfast not ready? Yeah, I'm so hungry. Right, Hotaro, did you sleep well last night? What happened? Well, there was some strange noise noises from Angelica's room. What sound was that? I've been curious and stayed awake, but finally, but finally fell asleep. I'm telling you this, Mikuri. Wait, I'm telling you this. Mikuri has been up late. Did you know that? She must be a bad girl. What an annoying girl. She doesn't help Maggie at all. Just, she just does whatever she likes. What is she doing anyway? Fine, I'm not interested. Why wouldn't Maggie be mad about her? Uh, what about kicking out that lazy girl? Of course, I will help if I grow up. I mean... I, I mean, really. Potaro, have you seen a bird? It is said that it flies in a blue and white sky. What is it like to fly? Uh, Maggie said... Oh, Maggie. Maggie said it feels like jumping up and not going down. Can I fly if I practice more? I hope that I could fly someday. It's rare. Angelica got up later than me. Angelica usually gets up the earliest. Did you know that? Did she sleep late last night and couldn't wake up early today? Even if adults have such times. Can't open. Is she still asleep? Hmm. Okay, so I can't talk to... Can't talk to Angelica today. Aisa! Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, um... Mama! Breakfast is ready, can you get gather everyone around? Yes. Hey, what's wrong with Angelica? I don't know what's wrong with her. She's been in her room since morning. Does she feel uncomfortable? What? Angelica is ill? I tried to talk to her, but no response. Mikuri, do you know anything? I'm not sure. You seem... She seemed alright yesterday. That's odd. I'll bring the food and check on her later. What's wrong, Mikuri? You're not eating. Are you not hungry? I... I'm good. But if you don't eat, you'll be weak. Mikuri, you okay? I'm fine. Just feel a bit off. Well, take care of yourself. Maybe take the day off. I will. Hey, Maggie. Today's curry tastes a bit sour. Huh? It's part of your imagination. Is Tsuna a bit feverish? Are you okay? Uh, that's true. Maggie made it. It couldn't be bad. Sorry, Maggie. It's okay. I don't mind. But if you don't like it, you can just leave it. 
Why do I have a bad feeling about this? No, I love it. Anything Maggie made, Tsuna will eat it, will eat it all. Right, Hotaro? Mother Sue is my favorite. Thank you. Mother will work harder. We will make a uh, chiffon cake as a snack. Wow, Tsuna loves Maggie's chiffon cake. Hope dessert doesn't. I hope dessert time comes quicker. You're too impatient. Two of you, uh. Both of you be good before dessert time. Okay, Tina and Hotaro will both be good. Okay, so what's over here? Rice, carrot, eggplant, cabbage. What about that? Am I great? Remember main uh, all the names of the vegetables. I will not lose to you. I wish I could help Maggie as soon as possible. About my dream? I want to be beautiful, cute, smart, and cool. Just like Maggie and Angelica. Well, and also, well... Anyways, I want to be a cute and cool bride. Can I do it? As long as I try my best, I can do it, right, Hotaro? Maggie seems to be busy today, as usual. Can she play with me? I'm tired of playing with Hotaro. I was just joking. Don't show me that face. No, sometimes I think it would be better if you were a girl. Because then we could play do dolls or play house together. Huh? You can play that with me? Really? Wow, you said it. You must play with me. Where is she? Oh, there she is. What happened to Angelica? It's rather that she stays in her room. Why is that? Why? She didn't even eat. She must be hungry. Well, I can't figure it out. Ah, however... Don't think about those complicated things. Maggie told me so. We'll just leave it all to Maggie. That's progression. Um, Hotaro, you will distract me. Go play with Tsuna. I'm busy looking for something. Sorry. I'll play with you later. Be a good boy, okay? Hotaro, are you free? If you can, can you go look for it with me? What to look for? The recipe for chiffon cake. Suna and your dessert are, count are counting on it. Tell me if you find it, please. Ah, uh, the dust is annoying. I clean it up every day. I cannot handle all the housework and cleaning. I'm in trouble. If Mikuri could be a, uh, could help a little, that would be great. Hmm, the recipe for chiffon cake is... Where did I put it? I remember that it should be here. Wait, is it? Is it on that on that board behind you? I think it might be, considering that I can't access it. It's Mikuri's desk. Lots of notes are st uh, stuck on it. Sloppy notes are written in the drawer. Did Mikuri write this? Things that I can remember. Survivors. Do you remember how many people came here besides us? Uh, Maggie and Angelica seem to have forgotten. Seems that my memories are the only thing to rely on. One, two, three, four. No. Just a, gener a, a general count. There were about ten adults. This is how many years ago. Can you figure out what day it is today? Sense of seasons... Sense of seasons are a mess. At this moment, we are we are the livestock. What good would that be for anyone exactly? What would it be? 
reasons behind this might never be known. Anyone, please tell me the truth. Why am I here? This is so unlike Angelica. You feel it, right, Potaro? She's not the type who would harm her body. I can relate. After all, we've known each other for years. Something might have happened. Or something she can't talk about even to me. I recognize that compared to Maggie, I'm... I recognize that compared to Maggie, I am closer to her. She is the only one I can be completely open to and talk to. Hey, why are you so smiley, Hotaro? Don't tell anyone. If taking everyone out of here is only for my self-satisfaction, then the idea of bringing us out perhaps is throwing gas on the fire. Not all of us long for the truth. Should I stay here or nothing? I'm just mumbling. It's nothing. Potaro, what have we talked about yesterday? About Tokyo? I think we should go to Tokyo. Get out of here. To the land that won't be destroyed. Are you coming? No. I will tell you next time. I haven't gathered all the fragments yet. The way out of here... Or the safe route to Tokyo. We don't know any of it. We'll find it one day, definitely. Can I actually find the recipe anywhere? Can open. Is she still asleep? Hotaro. How is Angelica? It's locked from the inside. Hey, Angelica, are you okay? It's too quiet here. Is she still asleep? Let's wait and see. I'm so worried about her. If she could come out soon. blocking the way. Sorry. Taking everyone out of here is my only self-satisfaction. And the idea of bringing us out perhaps throwing this is perhaps throwing gas on fire. Not all of us long for the truth. Should I stay here or nothing? I'm just mumbling, it's nothing. Wait, did I talk to the right thing? Never mind. Um.
Oh, hi. Listen to me, Hotaro. Big news. Tuna finally found the key to the engine room. Now we can get down there. What's it like in there? Gather by the engine... Uh, gather by the engine door. Uh, door ladder. When you get past Maggie's room, don't get caught. What if Maggie caught us? What should we do? Just say Mikuri asked for us. Hotaro? Nah. Nah, isn't this great? Isn't this idea great? Tuna is a genius. Compliment me. Hotaro, are you ready? Uh, Captain Tsuna is ready. Now let's enter the en uh, the engine room. Don't let Maggie ca Don't let Maggie catch you. I will leave it to you. Engine room. What is it like? So exciting, right, Hotaro? Tsuna's curiosity has reached its peak. Let's go. Hurry. I think they might have been killing each other. <laughs> hmm. Ada, Otaro, what is it? You hardly ever come out of your room. Uh, Mikuri is asking for you. Eh? Mikuri? What does she want? Thank you for notifying me, Hotaro. Mikuri, do you need something? Hotaro said you were looking for me. What are you talking about? Eh? Is there a misunderstanding? Seriously, Hotaro? He lied to me? Hey, hey, wait. Since you are here, come, let's talk. Yes, there is something I want to add, I want to say. Mikuri, want to... Uh, Mikuri, want to talk to... Uh, wait. Mikuri, want to talk to me? What are the odds? What's the matter? Uh, nothing in particular. Ah, I know. Did you find my recipe for the chiffron cake? And there, or or did I lend it to Mikuri? I was just about to use it. Give it to me. Ah, uh, is that true? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What are you doing exactly, Hotaro? Oh, no, it says the same thing. Okay. I guess there isn't any endings. But let me save. Let me save. Let me save. Important. Important. Crucial. Absolutely crucial. Thank you, Usa. Hotaro, are you ready? I'm always ready. Then strike! Uh? Look, Hotaro! Amazing! So many machines! Didn't think this would be a place like... Uh, didn't think this would be a... Uh, a place like this. Impressive! So robotic, so glamorous, cool! Let's take a look around, Hotaro. <laughs> Hotaro, I got chills over the feeling we are doing something very bad. We need to keep it a, sec a secret to Maggie. What does it do, this machine? Eh, it's called conveyor belt. Would it move? Hotaro, let's sit on it. it. Seems fun. Nah, who made this machine thingy? Tuna loves uh oh. OLTP of questions. Wait. Soon I have OLTP of questions. What does that mean? Will Angelica tell me if I talk to her? Ah, but if I talk to her, she w she would know we've been here. 
Nah, Hotaro. Did you come to clean this place? It feels a bit dusty. Did it grow mold? What if Tsuna got sick? I don't want to die. It's a conveyor belt. It's... It probably won't suddenly turn on. Here's to be an emergency button. Better not run around. On the gigantic screen, there are lots of English letters and numbers. I don't know what it is. On the gigantic screen, there are lots of English letters and numbers. I don't know what it says. The screen shows shelter main computer on it. What does this shelter mean? What is the name of this white box? In this see-through sphere... Uh, in this see-through sphere, uh, has something very much like a machine. Is this what white case is... Is this that white case's heart? Has a lot of buttons. Uh, or some terminal I don't know. It won't be good if we broke it. Let's just leave it. Amazing. Cool. Machines are so badass and shining. Just a little touch won't hurt, right? So now I want to have fun. These monitors, dining room, planting room, and shower room. Everyone's rooms and all other places are on the screens. Right, let's check on Angelica. I haven't seen her all day, I'm a bit worried. Angelica's room is... Plastic, light, plastic bag-like things are scattered everywhere on the floor. There appears, to be a, there appears to be a lot of brown things. Because of the distance, because of the instance, so, uh, it's not very clear. Uh, it, because of the distance, it's not very clear. Because of the distance, it's not very clear. But we can see Angelica is not in her room. Then, where is Angelica now? Yeah! I'm falling. I'm falling. Help me, Hotaro. Do I... What if I leave? Okay, I guess I can't. Oh, Hotaro, what should I do? Even though I grabbed Tsuna and trying like how to pull her back, Tsuna's whole body... But Tsuna's whole body weight are on my arms. So heavy. It's too heavy, I can't pull her... I can't pull her up by my own strength. My hands are gonna fall off. But I can't let go. Tsuna's life is depending on me. Potter, it's enough. Like, uh, let go of my hands. I can't. You have to. If you keep like if. If you if you keep doing this, Hotaro will fall too. I'm very happy just seeing Hotaro trying so hard to save me. Playing with Hotaro for so long, I'm truly uh, I'm truly so so happy. And it's been a great joy to be able to live here with you guys. It's true, true. Tsuna is so lucky to, lucky to be born into this world. Thank you, Hotaro. There's the option. I was waiting for this. Which one's the bad ending? Don't let go. Still now loading. <laughs> Potaro. Hey, what are you? Uh... Hey, what are you uh, arguing for? Why is the door of the engine room open? M Maggie.
Explain what happened. Why are you here? Sorry, Maggie. It was me who stole the keys. It is boring to play, in, uh, to play the same things over and over again, so I was trying to go on an adventure with Hotaro. Uh, it wasn't Suno's fault. This place is dangerous. Now you understand that? I didn't mean to be bad and not let you come in. I don't want you to be in danger, that's all. So never do this again. You promise me? Yes, sorry, I didn't mean to trouble throw you. Okay. Thank you. And we have an agreement. After that, we listened to Mother carefully and became good kids. In the white box, peaceful life has continued. Even if the world is boring, peaceful and tiny, we are satisfied with this little happiness. Finally, when all of us grow older, without knowing it, the little happiness has become the biggest happiness. There is a new life formed between me and Suna. From now on, let us protect him. In this white world, protect the new cradle of ruin. Bad end? The tender cradle? <laughs> Excuse me, the bad end? <laughs> this is a bad Okay, sure. I mean, we did give new life to the world, so I guess it is. It is, uh... Alright, L. I guess it is technically a bad end. Alright. Um... What is happening on this side? All right, I guess continue. So I guess we let her fall then. Oh, no, I am ready. I'm ready to let you die. I'm always ready. <laughs> Just didn't question the fact that Angelica isn't in her room. Alright. Uh, Hotaro, what should I do? Even though I grabbed Tuna's hand and tried and, like hell to pull her back. Tuna's whole body weight, uh, Tuna's whole body weight are on my arms. So heavy. It's too heavy. I can't pull her up by my own strength. My hands are gonna fall off. But I can't let go. Tuna's life is depending on me. Potaro, it's enough. Let, let go of your hands now. You have to, if you keep like this, Hotaro will fall too. I'm very happy just seeing Hotaro trying so hard to save me. Playing with Hotaro for so long, I am truly so, so happy. It's been a great joy to be able to live here with you guys. It's true, true. 
Tsuna is so lucky to be born into this world. Thank you, Hotaro. My girl. Tsuna fell into the abyss. I try to feel my hands for some... Uh, for Tsuna's warmth. All I can do is stare into that... Is stare at that darkness. Hey! Why is the right... Why is the engine room... Room's door open? Hotaro, why are you here? Did you... Hey, Hotaro. You know what I have to say? Never go in the engine room. I told you before, right? I told you it's too dangerous. Do not go in. That's why... I locked this door. How? Mother will tell others. Uh, will tell others. Hotaro, go to your room. It's all my fault. It's okay, you don't have to say anything. Sorry that I let you wait. I bought... Uh, I bought dinner. You must be hungry. Then eat more. Aren't, are you angry? Yes, I am. Because you didn't keep your promise, did you? But, well, there's nothing I could do. No matter how much I regret, there's nothing I can do. Why don't you go to bed early today? You understand? Good night. It was mother who cooked the dinner, but I don't have- I'm not hungry. They go to bed? Sure. They do before sleep. Read. <laughs> the Great Prophecy of, of the Century or Makoto Mobius? Great Prophecy of the Century. Uh, Sepia Milza, 19- oh, I already read these. And then the north will be buried on the end of snow, so let it perish. Let's meditate. About Tsuna. It was all my fault. What should I do? I didn't have the power to save her. It is nice to be born in this world. Really. Thank you, Hotaro. In what kind of mood did you say this to me? Meditate, disappear one by one. It should have been as usual. It's supposed to be like that. Because of my fault, Tsuna had died. Angelica got lost. Everyone has disappeared one by one. Tsuna and Angelica. The routine has been broken. What went wrong? What should I do? Just sleep. Good night. Tsuna has died. It was all my fault. Although mother didn't blame me, it was all my fault. If at that time I stopped Tsuna, if I didn't let her go, my brain is dominated by the feelings of regret. I can't think anymore. Everyone is missing. Angelica and Tsuna. Missing one by one.
Life is all about making choices. Just like in the revolution, everyone's life was taken. Just like the process of living, one will have a lot of sins. Even if someone died or went missing, the time still goes on. What a cruel world. Just like the relationship between you and me. What a cruel world. That is an interesting way to spell cruel. Just like the... Just like the relationship between you and me. Just like how you killed me. Fourth day. Hey Nard, how you doing? And no, the the letters there are not random. They're for a code. It's a quiet morning. Nobody is here. Yesterday, mother had an annoyed face, thinking by herself. Did I do anything bad? Could I have helped mother? I'm such a useless son. I can't even feel mother's emotion. The adult Suna loves. It looks real as if it could move, just staying. So, is there nothing else I could. can open. The action that I've done, and the choices that I've made, were they all correct? Is that all my arrogance? By now, these things have also... What is wrong? What is right? Even this becomes vague. Usa. Is there some other way? I had a bad feeling. Angelica is gone. Tsuna is gone. Mikuri is gone too. Then Mother is gone? Where did they go? Life is continuously making choices. This phrase kept ringing in my ears and never left. If back then, I could sense Angelica's change. If back then, I didn't let go of Tsuna's hand. Now, there might be a different future waiting for me. Once you made the choice, you can't start over. I have a painful experience about this fact. Could I have done anything about Angelica? I don't think so, right? Thank you, Usa. You're the best friend I've ever had. The door is unlocked. There's someone speaking. Do you want to go inside? Go inside. Tsuna is dead? I'm not certain about that, but she probably... Is that so? Angelica is gone, then Tsuna, w then Tsuna is missing. It... 
It is the time, isn't it? Let's talk for our own good. What are you talking about? Maggie, you don't have to hide. The foods are running. The food is running out, isn't it? And there isn't much food left in the underground warehouse, right? There is no such thing. There are plenty of food. There's plenty of food for us to survive on. Don't say anything stupid. Don't lie to me, Maggie. Lying is of no use. I knew it. Hotaro. Is that true? Sorry, I didn't mean it. I just don't want you guys to panic. Not only this, there's one more thing that you're hiding from us. No, there's not. You're just wasting my time. What was in the curry yesterday? What meat was it? Was it Angelica? You thought I didn't know? I've eaten them all. There's nothing like that. You don't have evidence. Don't say such strange things. Why did I kind of know that it was gonna be that? The key of the engine room was kept was kept by you before, wasn't it? You must know Tsuna always wants to play in that place. Did you put the key at a place where she could reach on purpose? You're lying. What? Don't say that. I don't have a reason to do such terrible things. Maggie, don't lie anymore. Although I don't know what you're thinking. There are only us. Let's make it work together. What What's past remains past. Let's forget about Angelica and Suna. Whatever you did, I'm not blaming you. Everyone fights for their own life. So... Let's leave here and go to Tokyo. As long as we go to Tokyo, we can leave a we can live a comfortable life. We could get food and a place to live. No, don't. Why? There is nothing left here. We could only wait for death if we stay here. Even if we leave leave here, there is nothing in the outside world. Have you seen it? The outside world now? Yes, I know it. So we could stay here and live. Stay here and kill each other. Feed ourselves with each other. Do you mean that? Yes, we could only survive like this. There's no other way. We have equipment here. It's a nice place. Not only do we have air, we have plenty of water and food. Also, no, not much though. We can grow our own vegetables. There's nothing to complain about if you just want to live. There's nothing to worry about. But to leave and go outside doesn't have any meaning at all. You can't guarantee that we can find a better place than this. It is dangerous to go outside. As long as we stay here, stay in this paradise, we can live happily. It's a shame, Maggie. I wanted to believe you. There is... There isn't any paradise. It's just a prison. Kill each other as friends. A hell that people drink blood and eat each other. I will go even by myself. Give me that key, Maggie. What do you want to do? I'm going to leave here. No, I've said many times already. Why don't you understand? The pistol taken out by mother was bounced off. Then, it rolled in front of me. You little... Why do I have to fight against you? What are my words? Why don't you... 
that are those are my words why don't you want to let me go I don't have to answer you I always feel that you are I always felt that you were trouble sniffing around I only wish that you could die earlier everyone could have lived here hap happily together why don't you understand that That is only your fantasy. Face reality, Maggie. Kotaro, use that. Mother showed me the pistol, which is in front of me. Come on, kill this guy. Guy? You. Living is a... Oh my god. I felt like my tongue almost dropped there. Life is all about making choices. Have you heard about that? Sina feels really happy to play with Hotaro. Really? And I'm happy to live with everyone here. Really, really. It is wonderful to be born in this world. No matter what happens, Mother will always be on your side. I trust you, Hotaro. Stay here and live with everyone happy ever. Stay here and live with everyone happy ever after. Potoro, it is your decision. What is right? What is the best? Using your own will. The pistol that mother carries is black and heavy. What a cruel shape. I am ready to raise that pistol. Shoot Mikuri or shoot Maggie. I kind of agree more with Mikuri, honestly. So I should shoot Maggie. Uh, but I feel like shooting Maggie is the good ending, so I'm gonna shoot Mikuri just to get the bad end, the bad ending, bad ending. Just. Mm. Shoot. Yeah, shoot. Oh. Hotaro, you... Fine. Never mind. You can just go along the way you believe in. No one is going to blame you. I'm sorry, Mikuri. Goodbye, Mikuri. We will live here. Till the day that everything comes to an end. Being happy forever. Hotaro. Are you hungry? Can you still hear me? What's wrong? I have something to tell you. Listen to me. My eyes can't see anymore. 
I'm about to die very soon. Don't be a child at this time. Listen to me. If I die, you are going to eat me. If like... If like this... If you... If you don't eat anything, you and me are both going to die. How cruel you are. Listen to me. You have to eat all of me. Don't waste anything, okay? I won't forgive you if you are picky about food. I'm sorry, Hotaro. Even till my last moment, I'm still a selfish mother. There are only two of us left in this world, me and mother. Mother almost left me all the food. At last, she wants me to leave, to live. And then, several days later, mother's body... Oh shit, I still had tea. Fuck. Mother's body becomes cold in the morning. I eat mother, as I promised her. What did I do wrong? Maybe the future is predictable. It's an end that I don't want to admit. You can't be pe you can't be picky about food. You have to eat everything, Hotaro. I seem to hear mother's voice. Bad end. The last supper. Yes, that is the bad end. Nice. Thank you for playing. Alright, D. E L D. Uh, wait, no. Want to thank you? Let's continue from here. Thank you, Usa. Um, hold on. How many endings did I get here? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is my fourth one, and I think there was a book that said that there's four endings in, in, uh, in the A route. Go inside. If I remember correctly. Alright, I'm gonna skip, skip all this. Is that true? Alright. 
God, the art looks beautiful, though, I gotta say. It's your decision. What is, what is right? What is the best? Using your own will. The pistol that mother carries is black and heavy. What a cruel shape. I am ready. And raise the pistol. Shoot at Maggie. Why, Hotaro? As long as we stay here, we could survive. Everyone could be happy. Why didn't you find someone to talk with? Ah, uh, that's right. I didn't tell anyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I can't be with you till the end. Hotaro, I'm here. Thank you for... ...being my child. Goodbye, mother. Is it over? Maggie, sorry. Let's go, Hotaro. We brought all the essentials. If my memories are correct, the underground tunnel should lead to another exit outside, other than the food storage. We went through that tunnel and came here at... Uh, and came here in the first place. The Last Supper. Mother. Mikuri. Tsuna. Angelica and I. I can even hear the laughter from the old days. I know it's just an illusion. Still. Still opened our eyes hoping. Joyful life over the years. Precious time spent with everyone. Shattered world seems so distant. I can no longer retrieve back to our, back to our hand. But, our laughter is... It's definitely not like... It's definitely not a lie or fake. It's the time that's... It's the time that's sorrow for everyone. And can never be replaced. Oh, she's following me. It's the kitchen. Used kitchen supplies just lying there. No more mother's cuisine. Kotaro, are you regretting the choice you made in the past? Indeed, that might not be correct, but just like life has no right answer, the same to mistake, mistakes. So, no matter what kind of failure you are facing, 
I think it's supposed to happen. Everything goes on in our lives. Everything that goes on in our lives is meaningful. Why would such a sad thing happen? Why would such painful feelings occur? Maybe you're being tested. Everything has its own meaning. Think about what that means. Potaro, memories of this place must be very precious to you. Everything you felt will turn into your flesh. It will definitely help you in the future. You must live no matter what happens. Mother and Angelica work hard, taking care of the field. Tsuna and I helped several times. I, rem I remember it. I, I remember it should grow. Mother's favorite flower. It's mother's favorite flower. I remember the name is Blue Star. It says, love of trust, love of happiness. To me, Angelica is vital. She always gives me courage when I feel unsafe. I've always been relying too much on her gentleness. I have given up on actions because of discomfortness. No, I was just being scared. I'm afraid of breaking everyone's smile and our daily lives. Just because of my self-satisfaction. Would Angelica smile and forgive me? This is my room. I don't have any special skill. Unlike Mother who cooks well. Unlike Angelica who is intelligent. Unlike Mikuri who could achieve everything. Unlike Tsuna who can motivate the passion. No matter if I am here or not, there is no difference. I'm just like air. Should such a useless person live? Just like me. I remember every day to play with Tsuna, play pranks, and always make Mother angry. There were days like that, hanging around every day. These things we took for granted are not the same anymore. The happy days, the happy daily life is gone. We can't go back, even if I regret the time will- Even if I regret, the time will never stop, even if you die. Angelica. Stop, Hotaro. You better not open this door. If you see, your heart must be broken. There are more things in this world that is better not to be seen. Angelica. Seems to be very steady and keeps reading complicated books. Angelica always says something that is difficult for me to understand. Not knowing when she is missing. Was she really killed by mother? If what Mikuri said was real, then she must become a part of me and lives in my body forever. It must be fine. Are you afraid, Hotaro? No worries. Maggie will never blame you. She must be proud of you, going forward with your own will. If not like this, she wouldn't sleep so peacefully. There was only bad memories. I remember that I ha had always acted like a child and troubled mother because I didn't want to go shower. But nowadays, even those things have become precious memories. I can't go back. Maggie, she isn't a bad person. Even if you don't, even if you don't say that, I know it. She must want to protect you from the bottom, from the bottom of her heart. Ah, yes. If I could meet her in a different world, I might have understood her more. Although mother is bad with books, she often encourages me to read more. It's like reading, it's like reading a book, so it's not painful at all. When I was little, 
I always asked mother to read books for me. However, she always fell asleep before I did. I can't see mother's face anymore. Wait, did I? Oh yeah, I did. She smiled until the end. However, what she wanted to create, the paradise does not exist here anymore. Our thoughts should be the same from the beginning. Where came, where came the difference between our aspirations? Goodbye, mother. Mikuri. Mikuri kept looking for the truth and the world outside. Finally, Mikuri reached further where she, where she dreamed. I go on a journey with Mikuri together. Let's go. Tsuna. Sorry, Tsuna. It's all my fault. I am probably never gonna forget when I let go of your hand. I will live out the best of my life, carrying on your spirit. Tsuna. That girl is really full of energy and light. Been smoothing everyone's mood. I really want to see what she looks like after she grows after she grows up. Must be a gentle girl. Just like Maggie. Sorry. You should just forget about Tsuna. There are things in the world that we can we can do nothing about. You should know. For you stopping here is not your best option. Move on. Never look back. Let's go then. Are you ready, Hotaro? We are never getting back once we left. No problem. Then let's go. Oh! Thank you for making that decision. What do you mean? Thank you, Hotaro. You finally make your first step by your own will. You are not a Muppet anymore. Written exit. Underground emergency warehouse. Watch your step. Uh, it looks like it says keep out. Oh, I, I can't even... <laughs> okay, I guess I will keep out then. Hey, what is this? That was easy. I see. It does not have any reaction on baggage. That means one of us must stay here. How come? It seems that we can't both leave here. It is designed like this. Or maybe... Nothing. Then there is no other way. You can go. I can't leave you here. Don't say anything. Just go. Before I change my mind. You have to live for us. No matter what happens. Just go forward. And you must arrive in Tokyo. Don't look back. It is up to you. Looks like I can get out of here. Give up. 
Okay, I guess I can't. All right. Guess we have to get out. Get out. Goodbye, everyone. Life is all about making choices. It can never go back. Yes, I was right. I didn't choose to go with the flow, but to leave this place. I had been living here since I was born. It seems to be right to stay here. But the lights can only go on right, right here. I was brainwashed like that. No. I chose to leave Hokkaido by my own will. Go for the world without snow. I'm going to give up all this. Give up this north land that is covered by snow, that is going to destruction. And one day, I will arrive in Tokyo. Wait. Wait, bad end? Dying Northland? Wait, was there something else I was supposed to do? Oh no, I think they're all bad endings. Okay, no, I think every single ending is a bad ending. <laughs> Even the one. Even the one where we save Tsuna. Yeah, I just checked. Those are all four endings in the A route. Thank you for playing. All right. Clear password for A. All right. A. All right. I'm gonna real quick take a break. Um. Oh, wait, actually, will I? Let me see real quick. Shit, no I'm not. Okay, never mind. Fuck! I missed it! Okay, um... Anyway. Alright. Guess not. We'll keep playing. Oh, 
hi. She didn't respond when I tried to talk to her. It's locked. What should I do next? I'm just a kid, I don't know. Maggie always said not to think about those complicated things. What do you think? Can I go and find Maggie? I'm so worried. I don't want to stay and do nothing. I hate Mikuri, I really do. She doesn't only have a horrible face, she, had a, she has a bad temper as well. She's actually really cool. <laughs> She's actually like one of the best characters though, that's the thing, Mikuri. It was great. Maggie is... Maggie is one of us. Who live together. And Mikuri said such, such things like that. That is awful. Maggie would definitely come back. Am I right, Hotaro? Will the day of making a wreath with Maggie come again? Not seeing her anymore. I don't want that. I want to be with Maggie. You want the same, right? What? What should we do? Maggie is gone. Hotaro. Maggie would come back, right? She won't just leave us like this, right? Because she is your mother. Uh... Yeah, she will come back. That's right. If we don't believe her, then who else would believe? I believe... I believe Maggie. I believe Maggie is still alive. As long as we believe her, Maggie would... She would definitely come back. I don't know. I didn't expect to hear that from you. I believe Maggie's still alive. As long as we believe her, Maggie, she would, she would definitely come back. All right. Why did this happen? Ah, Hotaro. You're here. Sorry, I didn't notice you. Are you okay? You're worried about me? Thanks. But you must be as grieved as me. Maggie. There's a very dangerous way to go to the warehouse. Speci specifically, it's very dark. And hard to find a place to stand. There are also some cliffs. Maggie might have slipped. If she really would have fallen, she might never come back. I can only think this way. Hotaro, I'm really, really sorry. I was with her. I couldn't save your mother. It wasn't your fault. It's okay, you don't have to say anything. I was just trying to confess and have your forgiveness. It's just my personal satisfaction. I don't have anything else to say. Can you just leave me alone for a while? Don't blame her too much. Mikuri has always been like that. Not good at talking and somewhat rude. She always has a fight with Maggie. Both of them don't compromise easily. They're stubborn. But they are definitely not bad guys, trust me. I guarantee you that. You might have already known that, but Mikuri is surprisingly cute sometimes. I was about to be crushed by my own stupid behavior. If I knew that I will lose Maggie, I should have been more careful. It was all my fault. No, even if I keep being sad like this, nothing will change. It is time... It is in times like the like these that I have that I have to. No, I must cheer up. Tsuna sometimes speaks rudely, although she is always a lively and cheerful good girl. It must be because Maggie is gone. She's a little confused now. Potaro, 
If you could, I hope you can go comfort her. I think I already did. Oh, never mind. What should I do next? I'm just gonna know. Okay, these are the same. What should we do? Maggie is gone. Hotaro. Maggie would come back, right? She won't just leave us like this. That's right. We don't believe her. Who else... Who else would believe? I believe Maggie is still alive. As long as we believe her, Maggie would. She should come back. I really wish I could make a ref with her again. Uh... Nothing's doing anything. I hate Mikuri. Um, why is... Oh. Do you want to make a ref? Yes. It isn't too bad for the first time, is it? She didn't respond when I tried to talk to her. She was quite with a troubled face. Is she in shock for what hustle happened? Look closely, her hand is trembling. Touch her hand. What's wrong? Is Hota... What's wrong? Wait, what's wrong, Hotaro? You're freaking me out. I didn't zonk... I didn't z zonk out? <laughs> I didn't zone out to be silly. Don't be silly. What? What are you doing here? You wanna ask what just happened? You don't need to worry about me. I'm not gonna get her just because of some kid. And... It's just one man down. It's not that devastating. Though, you seem to comfort everyone around, but quit it. Because of what happened to Maggie, you should be the one who's hurt. Who, uh, who's hurt. The youngest one shouldn't act tough. Don't act all gentle. Don't act all strong. You're just a kid. Cry if you want to. I'll forgive you. Potaro. Carry on, both you and I. This feeling. Don't forget it. Wait. Did I... Things that make that Things that make sense will stop making sense. We knew what a horrible thing it is. We knew. This world is cruel. Don't even give us a chance to breathe. Potaro. See this... See this carefully. It's about what's gonna happen soon. I don't know how important Maggie meant to you. Perhaps this is the saddest thing for you. Even though your heart will heal one day, people will get back up. Even you who got brutally hurt and, and, and going, time won't wait for you. Time will only keep going. Leave us behind, just like that. Take away things that matter to us. Being alive is not all about joy, all about the joy we felt, but a very dangerous and difficult, difficult path. You need to remember this in your heart. It's okay, don't be so worried. I won't cry. Nah. Nah, that... How am I gonna put it? Just say thank you, that's all. No, don't get it wrong. I haven't recognized you yet. Ah, this is... Did you make this? You're good at it! Really? Are you going to give... Are you gonna give it to me? Can I have it? Thank you! It is a little bit crooked, but it's still cute. Just as just as good as Maggie's. You must have seen me in a low mood, so you try to cheer me up. You're so sweet. Thank you, Hotaro. You 
You can sometimes be trustworthy. You really impressed me. I have to cheer myself up. Thank you again, Hotaro. Ah, she's gone. Food is almost ready. Everyone should be pretty hungry by now. Hotaro did great today. You're very hardworking. If Maggie is still with us, she might brush her hair gently. Anda, Hotaro! How are the two of them going? Huh? Thanks. You must be very upset. Maggie, I can't believe I asked Hotaro to do this. I am a terrible friend. Hotaro, you don't have to take it all in. It's okay if you cry. There is no enemy in here. No one is your enemy. Hotaro, just in time. Dinner is ready. Can you gather everyone around? I'll handle this. All canned food. Angelica, Tuna wants something else. I'm sorry, bear with it today. I'm digging in. Oh, uh? I want Maggie's sandwich so bad. Shut up and eat. We're blessed. Uh, we're blessed to still have food. I feel it profound. I feel it profoundly again. About how much we l relied on Maggie. Yes. That girl is truly talented on making delicious food. Out of the storage we have. Mother is a badass. Tsuna too. I miss Maggie so bad. Thank you for your hospitality. Now... Now might not be a good time to dwell in sadness. Mikuri, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go check Maggie's room. Maggie... She must know something after all she's been hi after all she's been hiding. Are you... Going through her stuff? Mikuri, you fool! Going through Maggie's room, that's outrageous! I hate you, Mikuri. Just go die. I wish it wasn't Maggie, but you. Why would Maggie... Why would she die? Stop that. It's okay, Hotaro. Let her speak. Don't blame me. I'm doing this for everyone's good. Mikuri. Don't worry, I'll protect both of you. Hmm, Angelica. Sina always believes in Angelica. Go to bed after you finish your food. With all this going on today, you must be exhausted. Usa. Yes, you are my little Usa. Ah, uh, is it Hotaro? You're worrying about others again. Mind your own business. I'm fine. Children should go back to sleep. There must be something. There must be something. Where the heck? What the heck did Meg? Maggie put it. Ah! Shoot, the passcode. It seems not easy to get it. Can't imagine that she got in... She got in my way even if she's dead. She really didn't want me to get out. What was she aiming for? To lock us up in here for a lifetime? Who's that? Maggie? Ah, it's Otaro. Don't scare me. About the save box, it seems not to be opened easily. We need the passcode. He is a careful person, 
so she won't make uh, such mistake as writing it down on the note. Now as she is gone, the answer is also lost. Hotaro, did you hear anything from her? Like a hint or... If you remember anything, just come to me. What's wrong? Can you talk to me later? I'm a little busy. How long are you going to stand over there? Children should go back to sleep. You're in a daze again. You are worrying about me again. Don't do it again. Otherwise, I seem... I, I seem so pitiful. After all... It was children saying... I didn't take it seriously. More importantly... The research. If we could find some clues... What is my... What is mother hiding from us? The way of getting out. My wish... Is to leave here and be free. I want to go to the outside. I have been looking. But don't know when it was. Everything's un under Maggie's control. And nobody could get out. No. Nobody wants to get out. They lost interest in the outside world. Yep. Just like brainwashed. Maggie is such an unbelievable woman. Without knowing it, she managed to untie everybody. But now, Maggie is gone. I talk too much. Go to bed, Hotaro. When exactly will Maggie come back? If she doesn't come back soon, I must be tired of can I must be tired of eating canned foods. I should have learned I should have learned more about cooking. Then I could cook for everyone. Didn't work out. Hotaro, can we go back before Maggie was gone? If we could stop her from going to the warehouse, she's not going to be missing? If I could if I could use the magic from those picture books. Is Mikuri still angry? I sometimes don't know what to do. I have a red face and say something bad. Is this... angry? Do you ever feel angry? I've only seen you cry. Did Maggie really die? How does it feel when you die? Can't move, can't cry or smile. I don't want to be like that. I want to lock with you guys. Poor Maggie. I wish that I can be a magician. Then I can make Ma Maggie alive again. What's wrong, Hotaro? Are you still mad at me? I'm not reflecting on myself. And I didn't do anything wrong. It was all Mikuri's fault. All because she said such bad things. I did nothing wrong, but you also think so, right? You should reflect on yourself. Is Mikuri so angry with me? If I go apologize now, will she forgive me? She will forgive you. That's right, Mikuri is nice. I'm such a bad girl. I said something terrible to her. I will go and apologize. Thank you, Hotaro. Oh, wait, she's not here. I talk too much. Go to bed, Hotaro. Oh, go and apologize. Thank you, Hotaro. So, wait, where did... Oh, there she is. Maggie is already gone. You never cried, Hotaro. Or are you crying secretly somewhere we don't know? Just cry out, and if you feel sad, that is what human... That is what humans do. 
You were constantly crying after being bullied by Tsuna. You are stronger now. If Maggie sees... If Maggie was, were to see you now, she would be very happy. Time, the time in the past, when you and Tsuna were babies, are unreally far. Don't you feel lonely? Tsuna is obviously a mess. Compared to her, you are the youngest, but you act so calm. What is in your eyes? What are you looking for? Or are you not are you not surprised about what happened to Maggie? No, sorry. This is not possible. You are a fascinating kid. You are supposed to be the saddest of all, but somehow you are able to comfort and encourage others. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's all I can say. Sorry. If I learn to cook harder tonight... If I learn to cook harder, tonight we can have something delicious. Yes. Then starts tomorrow. Uh, I need to do special trainings too. I'll make cuisine as good as Maggie's. What the two? Let's call it... Let's call it the day. Let's call it a day, I think. If you stay up too late, it might affect tomorrow. I can understand everyone getting upset. But can Mikuri and Tsuna play nice for just a little? I don't want to fight with you guys. Potoro thinks so too, right? Hope everyone can get along. Aha. <laughs> now I finally realize how much help we've been getting from Maggie. Your mother is a wonderful person. Only if I can see Maggie for one last time. Uh, nothing. At least... During Maggie's absence, I have to protect you guys. Potaro and Tsuna are both still kids. Don't push yourself too hard. I think I already read these in the library. Meditate. What to think about? Mother. Mother has gone. I don't even know if she's still alive. What should I do? Mother. Because of anxiety and sadness, my heart has been crushed. We're left behind. The relationship is playing a part. What will happen in the future? Mother has gone. And everyone is anxious. At this time, if mother is still here... Just sleep. Good night. Mother is missing. Such a thing has never happened before. Where did she go? Why didn't she come back? Why did she leave me alone? I'm not the only one who feels unsafe, but... It feels hard to breathe because of fear, shaking, anxiety. My heart suffers in insecurity and I finally fall asleep. Am I scared for knowing mother's heart? Human beings have a long history that goes back to ancient times. The history with blood. The history with human evolution. Those who are born... Those who are just born knowing nothing have nothing... Those who are just born knowing nothing, having nothing, deny history. Not aware of their own sins. 
humans are born with sins. But they can't feel it, and they don't care about it. How unreasonable it is. Just being born in this world, just like this, and you can see me. You have sins on your hands. Third day. Cradle of Ruin B route. Oh, hi. Pen and paper. Hey, good morning, Hotaro. Turns out, I still went to apologize to Mikuri yesterday. Then she said everyone was just a bit chaotic because of... of... of Maggie's... missing. Everybody was sad, so it's okay. Then she told me not to overthink it, and she forgave me. Mikuri doesn't seem to mind. She might not be... She might not be as bad as I think. Did I misjudge her? <laughs> then, I'm drawing now. Then I give it to Mikuri as a present. What do you think? Do you think Mikuri would like it? You're a terrible drawer. Huh? Potaro, you idiot. Go somewhere else. You're distracting me. <laughs> Surely will. Right. So now we'll give it to her later. She seems to fall asleep. <laughs> Has dark circles under her eyes. Did she stay up late? I... She's been searching the room the whole time. Usa, help me save, please. Wait, I forgot, actually, wait. Then I can't recognize letters yet, so I can't read. When I grow to Angelica's age, I will study hard, then learn how, then learn to read. Potaro is an idiot like me, so he can't read at all, right? Okay, then it's a contest. Let's find out who can read first. I thought he could read, because he, he's been able to read books. Has Hotaro ever seen the world outside? I'd love to see. They say it has a big blue sky and boundless stretch blue ocean. Uh, Angelica told me this. The sky has no ceiling. And it stretches to really to really to a really really high place. The ocean is made of lots of water, has fish living in it. Cool, right? What exactly is fish? What does fish look like? I didn't mean to read that. Fuck. What is angel and demon? Is angel a good child and demon a bad child? Well, let's play angel and demon game. Then, Tsuna will be an angel. Hotoro is the demon. I don't get this book at all. So you made a story for us? Alright, let's cheer up. We can't just immerse in sadness. Though I said that, where should I begin? 
from what I can. A little by little, I must. Has Miguri been searching till dawn? Really? She doesn't have to push herself. She gets sick. It is me who has to take care of her. Well... But it looks like... What she will do. Should I... S should I say... It is... Should I say it is masculinity? I don't know what the fuck you said. I... Look. All of those words just completely went, like, in one ear at the other. Potaro, you don't look so well. Have you been staying up all the time? You better go back to your room and get some sleep. I wish to see everybody smile happily. Good morning, Hotaro. Did you sleep well last night? Not too good. No. Uh, then it's okay if you go and sleep longer. Speaking of that, have you seen Mikuri? I haven't seen her, th I haven't seen her this morning. Uh, well, it's not easy to do heavy work. Well, if you can grow up a little bit, you could help. Potaro? I finally found you. These are the keys, the spare keys for the underground tunnels. I found these in Maggie's room. Now... We might be able to get outside, if my memories are correct. Other than the food storage, uh, should be another road leading to the exit. We went through that road to get here at, at the first place. At the first place. Sorry, I kept this from you. We came from the outside. For some reason, we haven't been outside for a long time. Finally, free again. Hotaro. Don't tell others about this. No matter Tuna or Angelica. Let's wait for the right time. After all, it would be meaningless if only I made it out. Before that, let's wait. Ah! She's in Maggie's room. Is Mikuri staying up late? Searching in... Searching in Maggie's room? It's her own business. If she doesn't sleep well and become unhealthy. Huh? Hey! What is the smell? Is something burning? Is that... What is going on here? Why did the warehouse burn? The fire is put out. The food and materials are not usable anymore. I'll just ask, who did this? I won't blame you. I just want to know why it happened. So you, so can you stand so can you stand out by yourself? It it wasn't me, and I couldn't get in the warehouse. It wasn't me neither, though I've been, though I've been keeping the keys, though I've kept the keys. But they went missing this morning. Though I kept the keys, they've been missing this morning. That means the person who stole the keys did this. Didn't Hotaro do this? Because he is a glutton, I know that. It wasn't me. Of course I didn't do that. If not any of us... If none of us did this... Then... That means there is someone else besides us. Angelica, tell me. Although I don't want to think this way... It is possible that Maggie is still alive. About Maggie's disappearance, we haven't heard any. Uh, we haven't heard details from you. All these years, there are only five of us. There were only five of us living here. There are only two possibilities. One, one of us has lied. Two, Maggie is still alive and played a prank on us. I agree.
about Maggie going missing, I've never said that she is dead. If you ask why, because she just... Because she just went missing that day. Just as usual, Maggie and I was walking in the underground passage. It was dark and narrow. There were cliffs. The lamp I was holding suddenly went dark. And the next moment, Maggie was missing. Just went missing suddenly. Just went missing. Then we can't rule out the possibility of pretending to be missing. Are we saying that Maggie is still alive? That's great. Great. Mm -hmm. We can't say that for sure, but... It is highly possible. There is one thing not clear. What is her purpose? Mm. It might be mother. Potaro. Potaro, you're so mean. Even you suspect Maggie? Anyway. What is the truth? And what had happened? We don't know yet. If the chaos continues, we can't make the right judgment. Let's act more carefully. It is because of this kind of emergency that, rema uh, that remaining members should help each other. Till the day we found the truth, let's let's believe her and wait. Locked. It seems only weird things going on after Maggie is gone. Just like gears, it will break down even if one of them, even if one of them is taken. I can't be Maggie's replacement. Potaro, can you be the can you be Maggie's replacement? Speaking of that, I just gave the painting to Mikuri. She thanked me. She looked happy. That's great. Her face looked a little red. Is she too happy and shy? I want to learn more about Mikuri. I want to be a friend of hers, just like Maggie and Angelica. I have never been in the warehouse. Maggie said that I that I play pranks, so she never let me in. You are the same, right? Why did it burn? What? That means we don't have anything to eat? What what should we do, Hotaro? What should we eat tomorrow? Potaro, is it true? That the person who set fire... Who set the fire on the warehouse was Maggie? Then that means Maggie's still alive. I don't know. Maggie must be alive. She can't be any... It can't, there can't be anyone else besides her. Great. I can see her again. Wait till she comes back. Everything would go back to normal, right? Then, all five of us can live happily together. We can have fun as usual, right? I hope that I can see her tomorrow. Will, Ma will Maggie come to wake me up tomorrow morning? She might also wake, wake you up. I am, most, I am so looking forward to it. Good night, Hotaro. See you tomorrow. Is that really the keys to the underground tunnels? I found it in Maggie's room today. I'll go alone. You stay here and handle the kids. No, Mikuri. Step aside. 
someone has to go even if even if we keep on like this things will not change no i don't want to see any more death losing maggie i've already had enough i have suffered enough so now without food what do we have to eat are we gonna kill each other and eat each other's flesh please don't go mikuri if i lose you i don't know what to do I'm not gonna die in this place. Don't you worry. I don't want to lose anyone. I don't want to lose anyone anymore. So I will not agree to this. Angelica. I understand. Mikuri. Going alone is dangerous. After all this... After all these circumstances... After... Oh wait. After all, under this circumstance... We could die at any time. Thank you. This time... Let Mikuri and I go together holding hands so we don't get separated. Even if Maggie shows up, two of us together would be fine. Although I am slightly worried about leaving the kids here. But I think they would be fine for a little while. Before we come back... You would be safe hiding in the locked room. And with Hotaro here, they should be uh, they would be okay. Even if something happened, he would protect Tsuna. True. If Hotaro is here, then there's nothing to worry about. But still, let's take a break for the day. Since Maggie went missing, we haven't had a good rest. Did you stay up all night digging through Maggie's room? You have some you have some serious bags under your eyes. You caught me. Yeah, of course. There is no use keeping it from me. I pay attention to people I like. And it's already late at uh, and it's already late at night time. I think it would be better if we let our body rest and be prepared for anything. Well then, let's uh, let's wait till morning. Good night, Mikuri. Thank you. Have a nice dream. Ara, did you hear that, you you little big man? What well, you just heard? Let's keep it a secret from Tsuna. It's late. Go to bed now, Hotaro. We're gonna... We're gonna turn in. I... I... What am I doing? Didn't I... I... Did I never care about others... At the first... In, in the first place? I don't have the responsibility to protect them. I did think so. Damn it. My head is getting chaotic. What the hell am I doing? Wait. What the hell am I doing exactly? Get out of here. Be free. That's all. That's what it was supposed to be. But now, I mean, I'm like a fool. Ones like me. Probably are the ones so called hip. are the ones so called hypocrite. Tuna... Tuna draw the picture of everyone. Mother, Mikuri, Angelica, Tsuna and I are all in here. A drawing of everyone smiling. What would Mikuri think after she sees this? Ah, that. Tuna gave me this. Her apology for saying something awful. I'm not ac I don't actually mind. That Tsuna is a kid who can apologize properly. Eventually, one day, I will be too weak, too weak to protect everyone. If something happens, it's up to you to protect her, Hotaro. Never let go easily. It's in his hand. You're in charge, Hotaro. About Angelica, I don't see why she does anything I ask lately. I... I think... I think it started around the time Maggie went missing. No. Even though she is 
the only one I can completely open to and talk to. But lately, I've been too close. Let's just say, Angelica, she, I, what's going on? What are you gonna do? Damn it, did I get tricked? Are you still awake? What is it between Angelic? Did you just kiss? What? Wait, did you just kiss? Did you see it? Oh wait, they actually? Don't get wrapped around those kinds of things that... Uh, around those things that don't matter. Whatever, whatever, okay, fine. She... After Maggie disappeared. She was doing quite good. Although... Although, when I first got here, I felt like I am surrounded by enemies. But it appears that there are some people that, uh, that's trustworthy. Of course, you are one of them, Hotaro. I used to think that myself being saved is all that matters, but now I have some other thoughts. If we are doing this, we're doing it, we're doing this together. I'm taking all of us out, no doubt. It's about time for the kids to go to sleep. Potero, have you been regretting? Regretting letting Mike go to the warehouse? Felt that if you insisted to stop her, that she might not disappear, that's exactly what would have happened. Uh... Yellow. Hello. Le Hello, eggs. How you doing? Do you think it's all your fault that Maggie went- that Maggie is missing? Are you thinking about these kinds of things? That's right. That's where life diverges. Life is about making choices. If you choose one way, there is no going back. That's why life is so interesting, right? You don't have to regret about your choices. No. You can never feel regret. So please be proud of your choices. To say one day that I have done nothing wrong. What's wrong, Otaro? Why are you looking at me like that? Are you feeling strange about... Uh, about... Uh, women... About women falling in love with each other? I don't think so. I just love Mikuri from the bottom of my heart. I just... I want to be with her forever. I want to spend my... Uh, I want to spend time with her. I hope that she could accept my love. Uh, I want to be loved by her. That's right. To love someone, you don't need a reason. It works for anybody. When you grow up someday, you'll understand. Hey, you... Ah, the precious time passed so fast. There are people trying their best to live in in the limited time. Anyway, why is Mikuri so shy? I just kissed her on the head and her face reddened all over. Tsuna and Hotaro are fine with that, right? This is incredible. Well, well, you stayed up late again. You still can't get sleep? How about me sleeping with you? Uh, what kind of relationship do you have with Mikuri? Uh, aren't you wrong about who to sleep with? What relationship are you, uh, do you have with Mikuri? Ah, are you worrying about that? What a little adult. Well, I love her. I love Mikuri. But what about her? She doesn't seem interested in me. Mmm, no, well, that's not true. Thanks, Hotaro. Thank you for the support. I'm finally sure about it. About my true wish. I only have one wish. To create a paradise with Mikuri and everyone else. Sorry to say such boring things. It's time for bed. You have to get up early tomorrow, tomorrow, Hotaro. So it's just a... Yeah, okay. Hmm. 
Oh my god, my back. Um, okay, meditate. About Mikuri and Angelica. I just saw Angelica talk to Mikuri. They're close to each other. What kind of relationship what kind of relationship do they have? As a kid, I can't imagine that. That's it again. Who set a fire to the warehouse? Who did set a fire to the warehouse? Although they said that mother might be alive, is that true? If it is, that would be fantastic. Please come back, mother. Just sleep. Good night. Oh my god, I need so much pain. It's hot. It is painful. What is this emotion? What is this restless restlessness in my heart? I don't know. I don't understand. Mother, help me. Mother. Oh. Wait, she doesn't die this time, so what's she gonna say? The night that never ends. The darkness that goes on forever. Mother is gone. Do you feel unsafe? Are you afraid? Whose fault is it? It's your fault. If you make the wrong choice, someone will die. But the story will still continue. The nightmare never... The nightmare never ends. But they forgot the end. Till you run to the outside world. Here is the hell of souls. It is the place where human stupidity is shown. Let's dance in here. With the dream of destruction until we wake up. Fourth day. Wake up. Wake up! It's morning now, Hotaro. You should get up. You finally woke up. Good morning, sleep little sleepy. I've tried to wake you up for a long time. Everyone else is having breakfast. Good morning. Good morning, Hotaro. You sound energetic. Good boy. Okay, hurry to wash your face and change your clothes. Can you do it by yourself? Ah! You have said that you're not a child anymore. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, take it easy. Then I'll just go. Come if you're ready. The breakfast today is everyone's favorite. Sandwiches. If you're too late, it will be eaten up by everyone. The person who waked, who woke me up is my mother. The morning has just begun, just as usual with mother's voice. An ordinary day in this white box. I have to get changed soon and go to the dining, dining room. Was it a dream? Mother was gone. I'm so confused tonight that I can't sleep. It's quiet. Is everyone is everyone asleep? Wait. Huh? Suna, where did she go? Oh. 
what? Angelica, where exactly did she go? Oh no. Uh, what is happening? It's locked. Mother. Mikuri, where did she go? It's locked. What? Where was that noise coming from? Oh. It must be a nightmare. Wait till more wait till tomorrow morning. Mother will appear again. Just like usual, making breakfast. Uh, is there anyone who can stop this nightmare? Hello, Alu, how you doing? Oh, God. Hey, little boy. You're finally awake. Are you conscious now? How is it? Doing fine, bro. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm doing all right. My back hurts like hell. But I'm intrigued. My legs and arms can't move. I seem to be cuffed by something. In front of me is Angelica. She looks weird. Mikuri and Tsuna are also tired. Are also tired, but... And also, there are red and black rust... Uh, there are red and black rusted... Rusted what? It feels horrible even just saying it. The knives. Now here's my question. What will happen to you? Crack your back, try not to die. Uh yeah. Uh my back cracks by itself, but not in the good way. I don't know. Probably already dying. One. Being imprisoned, to being treated, uh, being treated cruelly, three, being killed. Well, well. <laughs> Unfortunately, time is up. The answer is all of them. Why? It is normal to feel confused. Next, you will be seeing a wonderful and one and only show. How do you feel? Excited, I, I imagine. Exciting, just imagine it. <laughs> Wait, exciting to just imagine? Yeah, this translation is kind of meh. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Ah... Uh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. No, that's enough. I hate Angelica the most. Dog, that does not sound good. Get that checked up. Uh, that's a pain, though. <laughs> Angelica? I don't like that. It sounds like an angel's name. Or, I guess she's, she's kind of... It sounds like an angel's name. My name is Demonica. 
Ah, hey. Hey, hey, hey. It's boring. Everyone, please be careful. Don't you think it's boring? That kind of character, like a lady? It's hard... It's hard to hide your demons. Help me, mother. Mother won't just let you go. I'm guessing she killed her, so... It's no use. Do you know why? Did you kill Maggie? Bingo! You are such a clever girl, Mikuri. When I get rich, I'll pay for your checkup. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> that means no one can save you, understand? You liar. Maggie won't die. You're lying. That means... I'm completely fooled by your acting skill. Ah, it's scary. Don't show me that face, Miss Mikuri. What a wonderful face. It's clear that you didn't see through and through. It, it's clear that you didn't see through and you thought you were... Uh... And you thought you were... Uh... Uh... It, the word is cut off. I think. You thought... I don't know. But it is great. I love you, Mikuri. Let's kiss later. I refuse. I hate you. Ah, uh, what a cold reaction. You used to love me a lot. Shut up. I have nothing to say to you. Wow, that's horrible. I just... I just made me pretty angry. You're such a demon. Killed mother. Uh... Such a demon. What? You're blaming me for killing Maggie? I'm not asking for anyone's forgiveness. I just take action out of my own interest. Your ideas are not my business. Life is all about making choices. Have you ever heard about that? Do you know that, little young man? This is all because of your choices. Maggie died because of... Because of the future chosen by you. This is just a result. Everyone caught up by me is also the future you chose. This is all this boy's fault that all of you will die today. Don't you think it is unfair to blame me for this? You can go back now. Shut up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I did put like an ass first. That's funny. Shut up, you son of a bitch. Are you going to teach me a lesson? Listen to me. You don't have any human rights, do you understand? God damn. As long as we put copper, we can get out. I'm just a bystander. I don't care if you can get out. To tell you the truth, I have no interest in surviving in a world like this or dying. I only care about excitement and horror. I need nothing else. It is enough talking. Shall we begin? Stop. Don't hurt them. Wow, what a scared voice. It does not sound like you. This kind of justice is also wonderful. Angelica, I'm fine with anything. I'm fine with anything. You can do whatever you want, so please just let them go. What an annoying woman. I hate this. Please don't disturb me. Then, little young man, let's pick one from these two people, to kill Mikuri or Tsuna. Of course, there is no such answer. There is no such answer as saving both of them. What a pity. If Maggie is still here, it will become the best showtime. Hotaro, why? 
did it end like this? No. I don't want to see anyone die anymore. Help me, Hotaro. Please. Please, let me go. I will do anything for you. I'll be a good, a good girl. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Hotaro, pick me. Don't think about anything. Just pick me. Then what will you do? Make a choice. If you waste my time, I'll kill both of them. So is there a timer? Kill me three. Did you hear that, Miss Mikuri? Hotaro seems to have chosen you. Really? The destiny of Miss Mikuri is going to be decided by this little young boy. Don't you feel it's unfair? How do you feel now? I hope you can tell me. A clever choice, Hotaro. I've always believed that you were going to choose me. I'm sorry. That's good. It's not your fault. You did it right. I'm going to let Miss Mikuri lose her legs. Someday, we'll leave this place and go outside. You seem to have such boring fantasy all the time. I'd have to let you. I'd have to let you. You can't leave anymore. What about... What about that? Is that wonderful? Where did you get a guillotine from? Three! Hotaro, you must live! Two! No matter what happens, don't regret. You're right, you did nothing wrong. One! Even if I can't stay, you must live. Stay strong, never look back. Yeah. No. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. God, I feel so bad. And then, Mikuri has never moved again. What about adding an aside like this? It's a great idea, right? Mikuri. Mikuri has... Uh... Uh... What an enjoyable show! Don't you think that? It's too enjoyable that I feel I'm about to throw up. Then, it's your turn now, little boy. Hello, bear, how you doing? Didn't you think you were the only one who's safe? Unfortunately, all of you will have to die here. But, I won't kill you easily. Actually, I have prepared a show for you, too. What about this? First, let's take off your arms and legs. And then, we'll put them on Tsuna's back. Finally, we can make a real bird person. No, stop it. Oops, you don't like it? You might be able to fly in the sky. Don't be afraid, if you move it'll hurt. Good, hope you're doing good too. Yeah, I'm good, my back hurts like hell, but that's fine. <sighs> Thank you.
as Demonica reached out to me with her two hands. Hey Dakitsu, how you doing? Ha. Huh? What is this? Blood? Mine? Oh god damn! Mother. <sighs> Annoying little girl. Are you going to kill me? Your best friend? Maggie? You are... Interesting. <laughs> There can be an end like this. That's why I said I hate... Uh, this weak, easily broken body. And then, the Monica has never moved again. EGM is so good, it is. I'm fine about you. Uh, uh, with every mess up game you play, I'm more and more convinced you will love uh, Fear and Hunger. Fine. And then the Monica has never moved again. The nightmare is over. With Mother's hands. This BGM is great though. Dad, don't go. When are you gonna stop shouting? Don't use that dad word. I already told you. Dad, no. Father, are you gonna abandon me to fight? I already entrusted you to someone I know very well, don't worry. No, father. Don't leave me alone. You stay, father. Damn, the art is also incredibly good. Incredibly good? Yeah, it is. Stop, I can't. Father. Mikuri. You must become someone who can protect him. When someone important comes your way, you can be her back. In the chaotic consciousness, I had a dream. How many years ago was that? Unforgettable, un unforgettable slumber. I reached out. What? What am I doing? How many hours have I been asleep? It seems like a long dream. I need to get up quickly. Even though I tried to get up, my body can't hold balance. I found the ground. Right. At the time, I lost my legs. Wake up, Mikuri. Are you okay? How long have I been asleep? Where is Angelica? How is Angelica? She's dead. What happened exactly? It's Maggie. She saved us. Maggie? Also, you are healed, but Maggie... Where is Maggie now? Is she alright? Mother is... Wait, what? Maggie is a robot, not a human. When she came to rescue us, she's almost completely wrecked. Is it Maggie? Who came to save us? 
Nah, Mikuri. What should we do next? I have an idea. Potaro, take this. Let's go, both of you. Head towards Tokyo. As soon as you get to Tokyo, no matter no matter what food supplies or any other living essentials will um will be for the taking. As soon as you get there, it'll be you'll be carefree it'll be a carefree life waiting for you. you no longer have to live in this crowded world, fighting over nothing. Eh? What about Mikuri? The two of you go. Wait, now that I think about it... Maggie can't be a robot, because... We literally ate her in the last ending. With my body under this condition, I will only hold you back. Only Tsuna and Hotaro? No, I can't leave Mikuri behind. No, I'll stay. I have put my faith in you. Please, you are our last hope. Why? Even though you believe in us, I am still scared. What? What should we do, Hotaro? No, I can't. We have no choice. Hotaro is right. Please. You're all... You're all we've got. I know it's too much to ask for a teenage boy and teenage girl. But still, please, both of you, if you stick together, you'll be alright. I believe in you. Mikuri. I know. I know. Tsuna, time to go. Thank you, Tsuna. Hotaro. It's okay, Maggie. Wait, it's okay. Maggie is always watching us. So no one cry anymore, because I don't want to have regrets again. Maggie saved my life. Maggie would want us to live together happily, more than anyone. If your wish is for everyone to survive, then I will devote my future in it. Since my body can't move, at least use this life for something you want to protect. Even if I am all alone and left here, it's okay. For the things you want to protect, can spread their wings and fly into the future. Then let's give them a push. Kids that were entrusted with hope finally gave up their birthplace. Stepped out the cage, headed towards the boundless sky and the journal ahead. I think they meant journey ahead, but okay. No matter what difficulty they will face in the future, the two of them will have each other's back. Fly. I can see on their back, the wings grow. Bad end. Wing of Hope. <laughs> That's a bad end, excuse me. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. I need the other ending too. I accident I accidentally did the good bad ending first. Which I shouldn't have. <laughs>
password C. Um, wait, hold on. Password six. One, two, three, four. Uh, well, shit. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, killed sooner. Aha, uh -huh, little Tsuna, the young boy chose to kill you. Why, Hotaro? Hey, how do you feel now? I really hope that you can tell me. Uh... Couldn't even speak? What a poor girl. You are such a bad boy. You chose to let this cute girl to experience such a terrible thing. This is cruel. Then... I'll have to let Tsuna pay for all the rude things sh that she had said. To clean this body with this rotten mind. Uh, uh, no, no. No. Wow, what a bad smell. The blood smells terrible. To turn over the a little girl's intestines. This is not what a normal person would do. Anjaka, I'm going to kill you. Wow, horrible. That's impressive, but unfortunately you will do nothing and die. Such a gentle person like you. Com uh, compared to be hurt. It is worse to see your precious person getting hurt. Well... Well, I'm going to make you happy, my dearest me -tudi. Damn. Then, it is your turn now, little boy. Didn't you think you were the only one who's safe? Unfortunately, all of you have to die here. But, I won't kill you easily. Actually, I've prepared a show just for you too. What about this? We are played, ravaged, one by one, tortured. Mikuri could only cry and see it happen. Till there is only one left. Mikuri has said nothing, nor has she done any reaction. Only the Monica's laughter keeps replaying. Hey, when are you going to kill me? I am waiting for you. You're looking, right? Always looking. You won't forgive me for doing this kind of thing. If I keep repeating my crime, you will come to me, right? 
then it means you're not satisfied yet. If so, I will do even more things to these human beings. Can I really do that? <laughs> How terrible. How terrible should I behave so that you will come and get my life? The boring world with boring concepts and the weak, disgusting body. I have no interest at all in this world. Well, please me. I'm not satisfied yet. If I can see more interesting things in the next world, it will... It's cut off. The word... It... There's clearly something there, but there... it's cut off. Don't you think the same? See you next time! Bad end. Demon in the garden. Who let the demon in the garden? My eyes are heavy. Is it morning? I open my eyes and see the light of the sun. I stretch out my arms. My arms are still here. My legs are still here. I feel that I had a terrible nightmare. But I can't remember anything. I can't remember anything about that dream. Of course. It's reasonable. It should be like that. But why am I crying? For playing their password R. Okay. Okay. Cradle. So it's E, I'm guessing on caps, L, D, A, and then R, C. Which is just cradle backwards. Oh, that's original. Ah, oh, you're so original, Sharon. The young boy stands in the white world. Nothing exists in the pure white world. So, something, 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 the rest of snow. He can hardly see around him. His side blocked, blocked by, his side is blocked by the snow. Fixed and all around the year it remains on the ground, imp impending his steps moving forward. He isn't moved by, this, the, by the world outside, although this is the first time he sees it. On the contrary, he feels despaired because of the severe cold he feels for the first time. Friends, mother, all his families are dead. Leaving him all alone in the world, his heart is nearly consumed. Is here heaven or Tokyo? I think we got our answer.
Jo. Hot, jo. Can you hear me, Hotaro? You're going to start over again in this world. And open the safe box in Mother's room. If it is you, you must find the truth. Don't forget, you have promised me. Do you want to keep the conditions and start over? Yes. Wake up. Wake up! Alright. We'll skip this. First day. All right. Uh, there we go. Oh, my God, wait, it's different. There it is. The huge save box. Do you still remember the promise with mother? Yes. The safe box is open. There's a key in it. What is this key for? Take a close look. On the label, uh, it was written shower room. Get the key of the shower room. Why the shower room? Doesn't he hate the shower room? the key of the shower room. The bathtub. There's still cold water in it. The face reflected in the mirror. With a weak and sad expression. Oh, there's a safe there. The washing machine. Does mother use this washing machine's clothes? In the closet, the bath towels are neatly folded. The door of truth. You might never come back again if you go in. Are you ready? Yes. Huge crystal. <gasps> Usa! I'm the universal save point! Do you want to save Usa? Absolutely! My boy! Huge crystal. Huge crystal. Huge crystal. Huge crystal. You are amazing. You did keep the promise with me. Welcome back, Hotaro. I have always been waiting for you. You don't want to go anywhere else. But if you want to, I won't stop you. You can do whatever you want. I'll just watch you by your side. Huh? You have the right to know. What do you want to ask? Who are you? Me? I'm your mother. I've been watching you. I've seen it all. About every choice that you made in this world. It's okay. Don't be afraid. I'm on your side. What do you want to ask? Where is here? Here is where the blue star flowers blossom. It is a place where you can face your own heart. You have always had horrible memories, haven't you? There is nothing to be afraid of as long as you, uh, as you are here. Calm yourself down. Take your time at your pace. What do you want to ask? About colorful rocks. Those colorful crystals are the sub tantalization of one's heart. It is called Ice Block of the Soul here. Happiness, spelled with a Y, sadness, fear, anger, 
There are different emotions in the ice blocks of the soul. If you look carefully, you can see someone's heart. What do you want to ask? Don't want to kill anyone. You're always dreaming about the future that no one dies. I don't think it's a bad thing, but think about it. Is that really correct? Life is all about making choices. Even if someone went missing, life goes on. What does it mean to distort this fact? Even if that is not the right answer, and you still want the happy ending. To keep making the right choices, that dream might come true. It's okay. That's why you come back here, right? It will go on well. What do you want to ask? About choices. Potaro, you must have heard about this. Life is all about making choices. We have to live to make choices. Those choices interlap with each other and become future. And those choices cannot be remade. You know enough about that, don't you? Only one single choice could distort or break the future. When you really understand the meaning of it, you will feel despair. Or will you be positive about it? What do you want to ask? Nothing to ask. Can I see someone's heart in the air? Really? Can I? I don't think I can. Oh, do you want to peek inside? Yes. Can you see it? The memory of waking in the heavy snow without any hope. The memory of falling in the snow and losing consciousness. Then the miracle happened. The memory of flowers blossom. I want to disappear. I've always wanted to die. I'm so unfortunate, incompetent, uneducated. All because I didn't have love for my mother. I've been passing the buck onto others. Even when I found love, I had been betrayed several times. My heart is wounded. Even if I tried to believe, to love, that was what, that was just a waste of time. After all, those are people who have nothing to do with me. Great people won't pay attention to me. And the trash won't change. And the trash won't change for me. Since I knew and understood this, I started to hate being here. I don't want to be born in such a world. I thought so. Until I know I have you in my tummy. I have you. You are in my body. This is the warm and happy. This is the warm and happy. I finally find a meaning to live on. My tears come out from my eyes. For the first time, there is something I want to protect. Things like being abandoned by that man don't matter anymore. The feelings... The feeling of wanting him to disappear in this world, of killing him, don't matter either. As long as you can be safely born. As long as you grow up healthily and happily and willing to do anything. I pray. I pray for your safety. Pray that you can be born safely. That's it. You're my last hope. Watching the blood running from my body. It's just like standing on the bottom of an abyss. Don't take away my hope. I cry and pray. Even if I have to pay my own life. I want to protect you. I cry every day. And I pray every day. I pray and pray and pray, even so, the prayers fail to reach the god. I'll be right back for a second, yeah?
Okay, I'm back. It's someone's ice block of the soul. Do you want to peek inside? Yes. Where has Tuna's mother been? Who can tell me that? The girl with blonde hair is still little, whose name is, Tsu is Tsuna. To her, even the fact of being locked in this facility doesn't matter at all. She just wants the most. It's happy, exciting... Uh, she just wants the most. Uh, it's happy, exciting things and delicious food. She has a flawless heart, that is frank, innocent, and pure. Anyone can tell that, can tell you that. I have to get up early tomorrow, it's time for bed. Who's that? Tuna, what's wrong? Maggie... I see, you can't sleep again, right? Alright, come to me. Yeah! Maggie, I have one thing to ask you. Well, what's that? Do I have a mother? You are Hotaro's mother, right? Who is my mother? Where is my mother? Did she go somewhere? Ah, uh, that is... Your mother is traveling outside. And she said that when you become a grown-up, she would come back. You can't remember it clearly because you were very little. Hmm... I have no idea. No matter her face or voice, I can't remember anything. Then before my mother came... Then before my mother comes back, I'll be a good girl. Sure, your mother must be happy as well. Is she outside? Well, yes. There's a blue sky out there. And a sea with a lot of water, right? Angelica told me that. Yeah, yes. I think she must see the views around the world now. Really? That's great. I also want to go outside. You can't do that. It's very dangerous outside. That is not a place for kids to walk alone. How come? But I might be able to meet my mother. No is no. You might also die. Is that okay too? If you die, you can never see your mother again. Will I die? Is my mother okay? I'm so worried. I'll wait for her. I'll be a good girl and wait. I want to see my mother. It is unfair that only Hotaro can be with his mother. Tsuna... Don't you like this home? Don't you like to live with everyone? Can I... Re replace for your mother? Thank you, Maggie. I love- I love you the most. It is- I'm really happy to live here with everyone. I like it a lot. However... It is not work- Uh, however it is not working like that because Maggie is Hotaro's mother. So, it is not okay. Tsuna. Sorry. She makes a step by herself. Tired of the boring days, and looking for something new. Finding something to satisfy her curiosity. 
then, just like a nestling that knows nothing, like a bloom, uh, migra mi mi migra mi migratory, migratory bird carrying happiness, with a, with a pure heart, she waits for her mother to come back, and never does. Dream of being able to fly someday in the middle of blue sky. Of a uh, fly some way in the wide blue sky. I'm just blind as fuck. What is my dream? I've been looking for it, but I have found it. I'm going to try my best to become a grown up like Maggie. Then I will surprise my mother when she comes back. Someone's eyes block up the soul. Do you want to peek inside? Yes. Why aren't you going to kill me with that knife? What are you afraid of? With that determination, you can't protect your beloved child. Come, kill me. Let me see the world that created. Let me see the world created by you. The girl with beautiful green hair, whose name is Maggie. She has got two different memories. One was to be warm, was to be born in a warm family, to be raised as a human being. The other was created by an inventor to be born as a bio, as a bionic human. There are not many people in the, uh, not many people to be born with previous memories. Um, among them, she has the memory of being a machine. She is a cheerful and lively girl, often smiles. Raised in a warm family. However, deep beneath her heart, there does exist the darkness that others can't find out. She used to have the function of killing people as she released the parts on her hand. There is a gun. The machine does not have a heart, nor tears. She was a ruthless Muppet. She has always been feeling the presence of a rational, heartless, inorganic self. Remember, it was in the, it was in the living room. It was a memory at home. That day, the television was full of news that Hokkaido will become uninhabitable because of a natural disaster. The news was everywhere. Mother panicked and packed the luggage. Finally decided to go to the shelter owned by, by an uncle. Mother told me that my favorite teddy bear and, uh, and clothes can't all be, pa can't, can't all be packed. Mother held my hand and walked to the shelter. The people of the town cried that this land is ruined and tried to find a shelter to stay. Everyone was in chaos. Hmm? The shelter was surprisingly spacious, with excellent equipment. Uncle takes uh, no more other than women and children. Uncle takes no one other than women and children. I thought I could live here peacefully. Suddenly there was a gunshot. And someone's whining. The atmosphere changed. All the adults were killed. Of course, my mother. However, I didn't feel sad. There were only a few other girls. And I left. And some newborn babies. Oh, those deserve to die. Uncle said that those who want to live here must obey him. There were only unharmed children, just us, who we had to listen to him. Wait, so we had to listen to him. You were going to live. Wait, you are going to live only to please me. What about that? Sounds good? Everyone listened to his speech in silence. 
You? A red-haired kid with fierce eyes was targeted. What? Are you really a woman? Whatever. You're such an arrogant. I paid a lot of... I paid a lot to build... Uh, to build this shelter and keep you here. To make you live and give you food. What a wonderful life. I am your god, thank me. Annoying fat pig, who would listen to you? You little brat. You little brat who looks like a man. Hey kids, stand in line if you don't want to die. Hurry, didn't you hear that? We stood in the line. If you don't want to be killed, everyone take off your clothes. Oh god. We were naked. The tough redhead girl was pointed at with a gun and took off her clothes. You're a real woman. Good. Be my slaves. God damn. At the time, a baby cried. Hey, who bought the baby? I should have said that I only need kids who can walk on his own. Damn, what trouble. Let me kill him. The uncle was holding a gun and pointed at the baby. On the way to his shelter, I have seen the baby's mother with a gentle smile. Her face flashed across my mind. Just like that, my body moved suddenly. I am filled with courage. I jumped at the uncle. The redhead girl and the other girls also followed me. To be... Uh... To be or be beaten... Be kicked and get hurt. In the fight, I grabbed the gun and pointed it at the uncle. He begged me, but I didn't listen. His body bounced out. His body bounced up. I kept pulling the trigger until there was no, uh, there was no more bullets. Until he died. All the other kids were just watching. There's nothing to be afraid of. There were only us left. I pulled my legs and walked to the baby. I picked the baby up and smiled at him. Good morning, I'm your mother. Feeling out of hypocrisy had reborn. She is not a puppet anymore. Finally got a heart that can love someone else. Don't worry, I will always be on your side. No matter what will happen, I'm going to protect you. Because I'm your mother. It's someone's ice block of the soul. You want to peek inside? Yes. What paradise. That's hilarious. How on earth will a place like this become a paradise? Her name is Miyuki. She has cold eyes. Her mother died when she was young and was raised by her father. Her mind or body were trained simply to survive in this world. Everything was prepared for the destruction that would come sooner. Before Hokkaido was covered by that eternal snow, she was, ta she was taken by a shelter and started to live together with the girls who, met me, who, who she met there. There were young kids like Tsuna and Hotaro. They had a tough life every day. Eh? Do I get to move? No. 
What a strange dream. I can't remember my father's face clearly. Neither do I know if he's still alive. I won't just wait for destruction. I must survive. Muki? What, Maggie? I have something to say to you. I'm busy, can you wait? No. What are you secretly investigating? Please don't, don't sneak and do this kind of thing. What are you talking about? Don't hide it. What is your purpose? Purpose? I don't have any purpose. Isn't that your misconception? Don't say things that will mislead others. Oh, well, that was my misconception, I see. Then I'll let it go. Leave me alone, just let me go. Wait, hey Miyuki, do you still remember it? To build a paradise? I thought we had agreed on... I thought we had agreed on this that day. Why don't you try to be closer to everyone? No, why can't we live together? If I have your help, you're able to help everyone. I hope you can come to help me. I'm not good at staying in that kind of lively atmosphere. And I'm not good at talking with people. I know that, but... Potaro and, Potaro and Tsuna are not children anymore. It's fine, even if I don't help, is it? Isn't it? No, not that. Why don't you understand? Don't be so loud. I do feel sorry to leave you every uh, to leave everything. To I do feel sorry to leave you everything. I'm sorry. Fine, whatever. So obsessed with here, Maggie. To leave this facility and go outside? <laughs> I think that is better. The eternal snow fell on Hokkaido, and the world is covered by snow. It was because we cannot live on the surface. So we came to this shelter, that is no question. However, it has been many years since then. No one has confirmed what is going on outside, right? Even if I want to go out. But it was her who keeps the keys. Why? Just talk with her. Even if I... Even if I tried to talk, Medi is difficult to, to deal with. It didn't work. She didn't listen at all. She... doesn't want to let us out. Everyone must be afraid of that. Afraid... Oh wait. Everyone must be afraid. Afraid of leaving this comfortable place. Maggie knows it exactly. So she wants us to stay here, maybe. Instead of making Hotaro and Tsuna go through a rough journey, she might have found it better to stay in this fake happiness and wait for, uh, and wait for the end there. So, in order to not letting anyone want to go out, she brainwashed us with the word of paradise. She is afraid that we are going to cause a change. And to keep Hotaro and Tsuna from coming up, uh, and, and to keep Hotaro and Tsuna from coming up with new ideas. What a mess. I don't want to get involved in her self-satisfaction. Face reality and go outside. Or live happily till the moment we die. Which one is the correct answer? Every day is too peaceful. Don't even notice what has, what has been forgotten. An idea s struck her, and she shivered. The interest in the outside world is rotting. 
her brain is being washed by this daily routine. Is it really right to stay here in this facility? Life is never endless. Should we leave this place right now and take some more meaningful actions? She took an action to face reality, to control the future. I will leave this facility, get out and find the truth, then go to Tokyo. I must live. Huge crystal. Oh, wait, I can't. Huh? There'll be no more peeking into this memory. Wait, there's no. Wait, I can't. So there's no memory of. of uh, Angelica. Blue star flower is beautiful, just like blue stars. The flower says, love of happy, love of trust. Isn't it beautiful? I love this flower, this kind of flower the most. Potero, do you feel relaxed now? You can stay here if you want, forever. I think now it's gonna... Oh, there it is. Are you leaving? Only one choice. The future will be easily changed. For the happy ending... Wait, for the happy ending... Do you have the courage to face evil? I don't have the courage. That's right. There is only a nightmare waiting for you. You should stay here. No matter what choices are made, it only leads to a nightmare. You have known enough about that, right? Even the future is dark. Are you, are you going for it? There is something I want to find out. The world you are going to face is never a simple one. No matter how many times you stand up, I must try to force you into a difficult position. Even like this. You're still leaving? Someone is waiting for me. I see. We have to be careful, please. Then go, Hotaro. I'm always on your side. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Oh, wait. Hold up. So... There's no need to stay here anymore. Left. Oh! Wait. If you see it. Hey, good morning, Hotaro. Didn't you sleep... Uh, didn't you sleep well last night? Good morning. Is there any sandwiches left for me? Hi, it's Hotaro, you little sleepy bad boy. Hey, Maggie, can I have Hotaro's sandwich? Hotaro has slept. He's a bad boy, isn't he? No, it's not. That's for Hotaro. If you're still hungry, you can just have mine. Really? Maggie's? Can I? Wow, great! <laughs> you're all very pumped. But Suna, uh, don't be too cap- Uh, whatever the fuck that is. You're making Maggie confused. But Suna's gonna be hungry. With only this much, it's not enough. Hey. Are you spoiling this little devil? The food is precious, are you sure? Of course. Of course, Mikuri. Don't worry about it, I'm fine. 
I can still do my job without that much. I can still do my job without, uh, without that much. It's okay. Oh fuck, wait. I can still do my job without that much, it's okay. Well, whatever. And the rest of me, the time you've been on stream, lots and lots of games, damn. Yeah, that. I, I think you can see why I didn't do it. I think you can see why I didn't, uh, I didn't think of doing that. Well, whatever. Mother is my favorite person. Handiest and Bryce, who can do everything. Yeah, okay. Mother's a- wait, what? You know that a devil is- Is in possession of- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? No, 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 I skipped something important. Go back. Also putting the- Timestamps, so that's that. Uh, you don't need to put the timestamps. Yeah, I just need like the. I just need the games the. Uh, that I played. I mean, to be fair, I could look at my Steam, but then there's like also the games on my computer and. What the fuck? Hold up! What? What happened here? What did I miss? What is this? You sure? Yeah. It's fine. Okay, hold on, you know what? Before... I want to stay here. That's why... There's only a nightmare waiting for you. You should stay here. Wait. Who's her flo- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you could put it in the, in the Discord so that people want to watch certain games in days so they don't have to. Oh! You meant that! I thought you meant like. I thought you meant putting like actually like the links of the games in the Discord. I was just. I was just put the streams and then the games you played in that stream. Oh yeah, that also works. Um... Cause I, cause the thing is, right, what I've done for my other endurance streams is... I, I kind of took, like, the segments of those games, and I put them into, like, mini bods. Like, if you look on the videos part, you'll see some, like, mini bods of certain games, cause there's, like, and they have, like, the highlights in the title. Hold on, how do I... Um... Wait, how do I stay? The game's frozen. Why is the game frozen?
Um. Um. The game's frozen. The game. The game is frozen. I can't. The game. That's not what I wanted. Go back. Wait. No, I want it. Uh, there's a bad ending that I can't get. Like, what the fuck do I click? Wait, hold on. Why can I not get it? I can't do anything. Wait. I... I had this the whole time? Sure. Is this not working? I don't have anything. Did I miss a chance to use it? I guess maybe it isn't here that I have to that I have to say stay in the dream. Maybe it's later on. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I can try leaving. Okay. 
There we go, hold on. Mother is alive. I must protect Mother carefully. This is Angelica. She is Mother's best female friend. Her sad personality seems to sync in rhythm with Mother. She's like an old grandma figure in these, uh, in these people. At least that's what I think. That's what I think of her in her mind. I know, I know that a devil is possess is possessing inside those eyes. This annoying one is Tsuna. Don't take her lightly, she's actually older than me. Mother said, I am more mature spiritually, so I am better. I need to remind Tsuna not to get into any danger. The one that looks distant is, is Mikuri. I'm not quite sure whether she is male or female. Her appearance is very intimidating. Uh, being stared by her is like being stared by a snake. Need to get her to talk with Mother and reconcile things. In the white space, five of us live together. We finish breakfast as usual. Regular morning, a regular dawn. Blink of an eye, another day passed by. No one has to die anymore. I will protect everyone. You're so energetic. I know you're very excited. But don't wander off. It's not safe to... Uh, it's not safe. You might bump into something. Don't seem the same. What are you doing? Room. Shower room. It's Mother's favorite flower. It's called a blue star. Hey, Otaro, I just had a great idea. Mikuri was staring at me when I was playing earlier. So I want to revenge and play a prank on her. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, why not? You're bad. I hate Mikuri. Give me the cold shoulder. Hold on, let me. Try this fucking thing real quick. Let's see this. So when exactly does
Okay, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Um. Into the warehouse, be a good boy. I'm coming to. Can't. But the warehouse is dangerous, I'm going anyways. I'm going no matter what you say. I'll protect mom. I'm gonna help mother. We're going to the underground warehouse to carry foods. I'll protect everyone. No one will die. No matter what happens, no matter what it costs, I must create a happy ending. Use my own hands. To achieve the goal, any mean could be used. To maintain the peace, everything could be done. No matter who was killed or what was broken, these are unavoidable sacrifice for peace. The world is full of killing, rage, and plunder. People who force others to fulfill themselves. People who are played by a strong will eventually leads to destruction. The electronic terminal in front of you is the entrance to the endless world. Why things can be, can be replied? Why do you think why those things can be replayed? Why do you think replay is granted? Since whatever you do is just imitationing others, then shall you suffer from the pain. The reality can never replay. You have to think and choose for your future, then understand the meaning of life. You have to keep making choices, using your own will. Even in the end, what awaits for you is... The fire burn of karma. Second day in sea route.
Hold on. Damn, it's supposed to be here. Who took it? Must be Maggie. Stop looking for that book. What did you say? What's going on with you? You look different than usual. And why are you warning me? Mind your own business. You know nothing. Damn. My pace are all messed up. I don't feel like eating. Tell Maggie that. What are you planning? Did Maggie send you? Stop. Please stop wandering around me. I just want to know the truth. Can you move? If Maggie is not human, then I can understand why I can't convince her. But she still has warmth and temperature. Why? Why can't I let it go? Talk to Maggie. That's impossible. No matter how many times I talk to her, she just can't listen. Feels hard to be around. She and I both. Damn, my piss is all messed up. I feel like eating. Tell Maggie that. Food is ready. Potro. Go get everyone. Wow, smells delicious. I'm digging in. Wait, that's rude, Suna. Take a seat before you eat. Where is Mikuri? Isn't she hungry? She says she will eat later. Um, well fine, I'll bring the food to her later. This happens all the time anyway, I'm used to it. She seems to be very passionate about some research lately. Nikuri, what is she really doing? Um, uh, who knows? It would be great if... She could help out with the chores. Hmm, I don't think I really need to. Oh! Wait, this is where, um... Where she would usually... Walk in. Ah, right, Maggie, what kind of game are you going to play today? I'm sorry, Tsuna. Uh, it's my turn on the field, so I can't play with you. Hotaro, can you hang out with Tsuna later? That's not exactly my plan. Wait, Tsuna wants to play with Maggie. But I mean... I've been playing with Hotaro all the time. Sometimes I like to play with Maggie. Alright, alright, maybe next time. No, oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> what a delightful morning. We changed something. Who's uh Universal Save Point? Yes, who's that help me? Who's uh Oh shit, wait. Otaro, can you get sleep? Uh, me too. I was thinking about something. Do you feel troubled? Well, maybe. 
you have anything that you want to protect even with your life, no matter who you are going to fight against or what you are going to lose, to protect the most important thing, anything could be sacrificed. Is it wrong to think this way? As long as I can protect the most important thing, I can even sacrifice my own life. No one can be sacrificed. Maybe you're right, Hotaro. I shouldn't think about such strange problem. There's an incredible feeling like... Uh, like you can see through everything I'm talking about. Like you can see through everything I'm thinking about. It must be my misconception. I see. It must be because... Uh, it must be because it's that we are mother and son. We are connected. Thank you, Hotaro. I, from now on, want to live with you guys happily ever after. Peace is the best. Uh, peace at the best. Fighting is absolutely wrong. Everyone can have a smile and uh, can have a smile every single day. That is my best wish. I sometimes worry too much that I can't sleep. I wonder if the routines would suddenly break one day. Otaro, someday in the future when you grow up, will you protect your mother and everyone? Well, you promise, Otaro. Now, oh, what's wrong with me? I just said something like that. It must there must be really something wrong with me. You don't have to take that seriously. You don't have to worry about anything. Otaro, if there's anything uh sad or makes you cry, uh should you find someone to talk with? Even if you struggle in your heart it only makes you feel more painful. Asking for help from somebody isn't a despicable thing, is it? Human beings are weak. We cannot survive on our own. I'm sorry, it doesn't sound like me. What is what what was wrong with me? Perhaps because your back looks trustworthy. It might be my misconception. I must be too tired. The photo of my of my real mother and me. My mother had a smile on her face. Are you concerned about about it, the photo? Who do you think are in the picture? I'm just kidding, you can't know that. Listen to me, Hotaro. Actually, I have matter. I have matter to hide from you. Nothing. Never mind. Just forget about it. Hey, Hotaro. You can sleep. You want to chat? I might be wrong, but you seem weird. What exactly are you planning? I want anyone to get hurt. Did you know that this facility is a sanctuary? And we are locked in? Do you know about Tokyo? Have you even heard of the name? I thought Maggie would hate to bring up that name. True, you can get anything like a dream city. No matter. No matter if food, supplies, shelter or goods, it's got everything. Facility like that, you believe is real? We won't know until we check. Even though it's baseless urban myth, but maybe uh, in it would be better. I mean, don't you have any doubts about our lives here? I left that way behind. We're planning on living here in this confined space for the rest. We're planning on living here in this confined space for the rest of our lives. Have you ever thought about getting out of here? Given ratios in this empty place, it might seem peaceful, but it's creepy as hell. Do you understand? Should talk to mother. I wish you can make peace with mother. This again. You're so stubborn. I am bad at talking to Maggie. Yeah, it's true. That might be the fastest way. I understand. Let me think. Let me think about it. We will do your plan. Just, just 
We'll do your plan. Just need to talk to Maggie first. There might be some changes. Can I have a moment alone? Potaro, do you like this place? Life here, wandering, uh, wandering around doing nothing. In this white space, can't even see the ocean and sky. Do you like it? Then just stay that way. Don't try to change anything or long for anything. But if for some reason you want to ruin this life here, no matter what happens, never change your mind. Even if you got in someone's way. Meanwhile, don't try to change anything all by yourself. People would, uh, people with this thinking are more often, uh, more often have setbacks. Otherwise, I'm afraid it would, it would stay like this. Now, Hotaro, are you looking for the truth as well? If that's the truth, then we are on the same page here. It might be better if we cooperate. Don't underestimate me. You are so suspicious today, like something got got to you. I'm still on to you. Let me observe for a while. What do you know? Get Maggie and I to come to good terms is very difficult. You do know our relationship, right? This is not a conversation kids should be involved in. Who's, uh, my boy? Oh. Thank you, so you are the best. Oh, wait, I need to talk to them as well. I had a lot of fun today, Hotaro. I'm going to have more fun tomorrow. I'll be super happy if we can play with Maggie. You have to listen to mother. What's wrong? Why are you saying this? Even if you don't say it, I would behave well. Because I am a good girl. And you are a good boy too, right? Aren't you sleepy, Hotaro? Uh, I'm so bored. You're not going to stay up late with me? I can't help myself. I guess I'm going to read the picture book selected by Maggie, then sleep. Now, uh, what should I play tomorrow? What do you want to play? I've been playing the same things recently, and I'm a little bored of it. The hide and seek needs to run. Uh, and Mikuri would show a horrible face. It's all your fault. You said something... You said something the same uh, as Maggie did. I was shocked. I didn't mean to give you troubles. I'm just trying to find something fun. Yeah, please don't soft lock me in here again. I'm telling you this. I have a great idea. When I grow up, I can be your wife. I heard that when a boy and a girl grow up, they can get married and become happy. Let's get married and become happy, Otaro. Eh? Is it, is it real? Otaro? Really? Wow, fantastic! Then... We are going to be husband and wife. I'm going to be a mom and you're a dad. Cool. I mean, that's literally one of the endings, so yeah. Life is all about making choices. Have you heard about that? I've heard that. Ha, ah, you know that. That is awesome. You are such an erudite little scho scholar. I won't let you kill anyone. Well? That means you see through everything. Little boy, how did you know about me? <laughs> That's why you are a recaller. You must know what I'm going to do, don't you? I will definitely stop you. Are you asking me to be a bystander? <laughs> it won't work. You can never stop me. 
But it seems to be interesting. What kind of future will you create? I'm interested. Okay. I can wait a little longer. Boy. Let's see the world you create. Because even if I'm not going to do anything, the destruction of this world has long been doomed. You can try your best struggling in this boring world. Boy, why do you still live? In such a world that finally comes to an end, in this world that vanishes in the end, why are you still trying to struggle? The memories that you fought for, and the memories that had been changed, are all wasting, are all wasting of time. Everything will be buried in the dark, thousands of years later. This is Maggie's Ark. Oh, okay, well that... Sure. This is Maggie's Ark. It's the most boring world. Dala dala dala. A boring world could only come to a dull ending. That's why I was trying to help make it more interesting. What's wrong, boy? With that face. Do you have any complaint? <laughs> interesting. I didn't expect the boy to show me such face. But how will you stick to it? After all, a boy is a boy. You can just stay over there. It's none of my business, even if you wet your bed today. Can you move? Thank you. What do you want by watching me? Hope for the peace? Not letting me kill anybody? Is that what you really want? Do you really believe that's justice? For whom or why are you going to change the future for yourself? The actions that you think are good might not necessarily make everyone happy. Ah, how cruel it is. Wake up. These are all your self-satisfaction. Go to bed today? Yes. <sighs> Meditate. About the Monica. It should be tonight. Mother would kill the Monica. Or the Monica would kill everyone else. The Monica said that she would wait. The only thing we could do is to believe her. If everything could go on well. Hopefully the morning could come safely. Just sleep. Good night. Today, no tragedy will take place. No one has made any mistakes. I go to bed and wait for the morning. Hopefully tomorrow morning will come peacefully. Um, did the game just freeze again? You're fucking kidding me. The game just froze. It's a good thing I saved. Huh. Yep, the game just froze, huh? Today, no tragedy will take place. No one has made any mistakes. I go to bed and wait for the morning. Hopefully, tomorrow morning will come peacefully. Good night.
in the white box. Why are you dancing? Violating and resisting its will. What are you hoping and looking for? Don't drift with the river, but to go upstream instead. As long as you stop thinking, staring at the giving gifts. Or drift with the river. You can live easily. You will finally know one day. Know what I'm... <clears throat> mm. You will finally know one day. Know what a mistake that decision was. And it... And finally find out again. It is never a complete mistake. I'm telling you this, Mikuri has been up. I'm telling you this, Mikuri has been up late. Did you know that? She must be a bad girl. What an annoying girl. She doesn't help Maggie at all. She just does whatever she likes. What's she doing anyway? Fine, I'm not interested. Why wouldn't Maggie be mad about her? What about kicking out that lazy girl? Of course, I will help if I grow up. I. I mean, really. Otaro, have you seen a bird? It is said that it flies in a blue and white sky. What is it like to fly? Maggie said it feels like jumping up and not going down. Can I fly if I practice more? I hope I could fly someday. And in a way, you kinda did. It's rare, and just... <laughs> It's rare, Angelica got up later than me. Angelica usually gets up the earliest, do you know that? Did she sleep late last night? And couldn't wake up early today? Even if adults have such times. Potter, good morning, let's play. Uh, we have for breakfast. Okay, we have to fill up our stomach first. Is breakfast not ready yet? I'm so hungry. Can open. Okay, so where do we go? Um, Hotaro, great job. Because of you now, I can't tell who is friend and who is enemy anymore. What? You want me to believe you? You must be kidding. Don't make noises. I'm thinking about something important. That's right. Even without the other's help. Ah, uh, come on. Hey, Hotaro. What are you laughing at? Anyway, get lost. Damn. Damn it. Oh, so nervous. Is my psyche that weak? No, not true. It's not like that. My father won't train me for this kind of thing. Calm down, I can do this. Talk. Yes. It's just a talk. It's nothing complicated. No. Hotaro. Can I just ask you a question? Um, about yesterday, how am I gonna tell Maggie? I told her- I told you before, I'm bad at talking to Maggie. Uh, I'll think of something. R really That's great. Thank you so much. I'm counting on you. Potro. Potro today woke up by himself again. Great job. Potaro is a big guy now. Potaro growing up makes me feel like you're li you're leaving. A little bit. 
It's a little bit lonely. We stay by. Uh, we stay with mother forever, Hotaro. And don't leave mother behind. Dishes on the table. Ara, you wanna help? Hotaro is such a good boy. It's dangerous if the plates fell and broke, so just stay and wait. Thank you, Hotaro. Mother is glad that you're trying to help. Meal is ready. Food will be on the table soon. Today we are having curry. Smells good, right? Mother is talking about alcohol. So Tsuna and I can have any. Wish I can be grown up sooner. That's alcohol. Kids can't have any. Remember what I told you? You asked what happened. Um, perhaps feeling drunk? So, so called drunk means getting lightheaded. It's a really nice feeling. Uh, it varies from each person. Some may not, uh, some might not be able to walk, to walk straight. Uh, I think that's supposed to say some may not be able to walk in a straight line. But it's cut off, so I can't see it. Some will get sleepy. You asked what it feels to not be able to walk straight. Uh, that, that... Anyway, it's too dangerous for kids. Absolutely can't drink it. Absolutely, make a pack with Mama. Good morning, Hotaro. Buddy's in a good shape. Great mood. What a wonderful morning. Today let's put it let's put uh today let's put hard work too. Um if this could last forever, no it will last. We can live here together happily. In this paradise forever. Uh Breakfast is ready, can you gather everyone around? Yeah. Now I'm the truth. Hey, why is Angelica? I don't know. What's wrong with her? Wait, I don't know what's wrong with her, but she's been in her room since this morning. Does she feel uncomfortable? What? Angelica's ill? I tried to talk about her, but no one responded. Mikuri, do you know anything? I'm not sure. That's odd. I'll bring the food and check on her later. What? Mikuri, why are you staring at me like that? You have something to say? Don't ever think it, just say it. Eh, uh, things to say? Yes, I do have some. No, I mean, well, I... No, never mind. Um, well, thanks for the food. Ah, Mikuri is weird. What's wrong with her? <laughs> it's not the first day to see Mikuri being weird. Even though, it's a bit rare. I've never seen her so chaotic. Hotaro, do you know anything? Says she's... Uh... Isn't... Isn't it because she likes mother? Eh? Is it? Well, lovely Mikuri. She could have just said it. So is Tsuna. Wait, so it's Tsuna. I care a lot about Maggie too. And I like Maggie the most. Really? Thank you. But what a shame. I already knew that. Eh? Maggie is so amazing. How could you know? 
Um, how exactly? So. Oh, wait, wait, Maggie. About this facility. Are we going out? All of us together? It's been years since we first got out. Uh, got out of here. No matter food, supplies, or energy, are all lined, uh, are all limited. So are you. Uh, so are you, do you understand? This is where Tokyo comes in. As soon as we get to Tokyo, we can get our hands on whatever we need. Outside this facility, I'm afraid. If it were truly like that, the great prophecy described is probably a snow that never ends outside. Silver World can cannot be crossed by normal transports. It's gonna be an extremely cruel and difficult journey. No one can survive on their own. But five of us together, there might be a way. Right, Maggie? How is it? This is a drill. Of this is a drill of conversation with Maggie. This is this is so not Angelica. You feel it, right, Hotaro? She's not the type who could harm her body. I can relate. After all, we've known each other for years. Something might have happened, or it's something she can't talk about even to me. I recognize that compared to Maggie, I am closer to her. She is the only one I can be completely open to and talk to. Hey, why are you so smiley? Hotaro, don't tell anyone. If taking everyone out of here is uh, out of here is the only self satis uh, taking everyone out of here is only self satisfaction, then the idea of bringing us uh, of bringing us out perhaps is throwing gas on fire. Not all of us long for the truth. Should I stay here or nothing? I'm just mumbling. It's nothing. I try this. At this moment, we are the livestock. What good would that be for anyone exactly? What would it be? Reasons behind us might uh, might never be known. Anyone, please tell me the truth. Why am I here? Oh, what's that? Photo of my of my real mother and me. My mother has a smile on her face. Hmm. The recipe for chip on cake is. Where did I put it? I remember that I put it here. Ah, the dust is annoying. I clean it up every day. I cannot handle all the housework and cleaning. I'm in trouble. If Mikuri could help a little, that would be great. Otaro, you will distract me. Go play with Tsuna. I'm I'm busy looking for something, sorry. I'll play with you later. Be good, okay? Otaro, are you free? If you can, can you look for it with me? Uh, can you look for it with me? What to look for it? The recipe for the chip on for the chip on cake. Tsuna and your dessert are, are counting on it. Tell me if you find it, please. What happened to Angelica? It's fair that she stays in her room. Why is that? Why? She didn't even eat. She must be hungry. Well, I can't figure it out. Ah, however... Don't think about those complicated things. Maggie told me. Uh, Maggie told me so. Well, we'll just have to uh, leave it all to Maggie. Rice, carrot, eggplant, cabbage. How about that? Am I great? I remember the name of the vegetables. I will not lose to you. I wish I could help Maggie as soon as possible. Move.
Maggie seems to be busy as usual today. Can she play with me? I'm tired of playing with Hotaro. No, it's just, I'm just joking. Don't show me that face. Well, sometimes I'm, it would be better if you were a girl. Because then we could play dolls or play house together. Huh? You can, you can play that with me? Really? Wow. You said it. You must play with me. About my dream? I want to be beautiful, cute, smart, and cool, just like Megan and Angelica. Well, and also, well... Anyways, I want to be a cute and cool bride. Can I do it? As long as I try my best, I can do it. Right, Hotaro? Moment of truth. Can't open. Hotaro. How is Angelica? It is locked from the inside. Hey Angelica, are you okay? It's too quiet here. Yes, it's too quiet. Let's wait and see. I'm so worried about her. She could come out soon. Why are you so worried? I'm okay. I believe that I've already said I will do nothing. I'm looking forward to the world you create. Listen to me, Hotaro. Big news. Duna. Finally found the key to the engine room. Now we can get down there. What is it like there? I have a better idea. Hey! Let's go to the engine room, I have the key. Let's do something more interesting. Huh? Fine, I won't. I'll sneak the key back to Maggie's ladder. And then what? What's more fun than the engine room? You can't bluff me. You need to make Tsuna satisfied, Hotaro. Make a present for mother. What's that? Sounds fun. Tsuna vote yes. Make, Ma make Maggie, who's been working so hard, happy. I would never think about this. Hotaro is a true genius. Then we will meet up at the library. What present uh, should, should we make? What does Maggie like? So exciting, right, Hotaro? Soon as curiosity has reached its peak. Let's go, hurry. Hotaro, are you ready? Soon the captain is ready. Now enter the library. Don't let Maggie and others... Uh, don't let Maggie and the others catch us. I'll leave it to you. Ah, come on, Hotaro. What's the snack? What's the snack of the day? Yeah? Do you know? Then will Tsuna make an exception and tell you? Just then, Maggie told me she's making chiffon cake. So excited! I will. It will be done when we get the present day. Uh, when we get the present ready. All right, let's go to the library. Uh, where was the library? Was it this? I mean, this is the library. I guess it's later, though. Oh, it was right there. I didn't see it, because it was... 
behind the corners. Ada, Hotaro, what is it? You hardly ever come come to our room. Yukuri is asking for you. Yukuri has something to say to you. Eh? Mikuri? What does she want? Thank you for notifying me, not uh, Hotaro. Mikuri, do you need something? Hotaro said you were looking for me. What are you talking about? Eh? Is there a misunderstanding? Seriously, Hotaro? He lied to me? Hey, hey, wait. Since you're... Since you are here, come, let's talk. Talk, yes. There is something I want to say. Mikuri... Uh, wait. Mikuri want to talk to me? What are the odds? What's the matter? Ah... Uh, I know, did you find my recipe for the chipon cake? Are? Or did I lend it to Mikuri? Or did I lend it to Mikuri? I was I was just about to use it, give it to me. No, Maggie. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you for quite a while. Uh, you and I, two of us. Eh? With me? Uh, it's about this facility. Oh. To the library. Ah, you're finally here. I've been waiting for you. Take a seat then. What should we do next? What will make Maggie happy? Mm. Drop a picture of everyone, drop a portrait of mother. Uh, drop a picture of everyone. Yes, I agree, let's do it. Begin, come on, Hotaro. Hotaro? Angelica still hasn't come out of her room. Is she okay? Did she eat something bad? She said she's fine. Well... Then it's soon as... Then it's soon as overthinking. Great! I felt that I was in another dream, so I was a bit scared. Right. Let me draw one for Angelica. Have you ever had nightmares? Uh, sometimes. Tuna sometimes has horrible dreams. No, are they really dreams? I feel that I feel they're so realistic. Uh, just like it's gonna pop out of my head at any at any time. Unbelievable, right? But it's so real. Someday Maggie suddenly disappeared. Angelica became. Ma material. They fucked up the. They fucked up the order of the E and. Angelica became material of curry. Mikuri lost her feet. Then Hotaro just left me just left me here and went somewhere really far. So weird. Oh this is not possible. Now everyone is laughing is laughing peacefully. I think this time now everyone is laughing peacefully. I think this time is very, very precious. Ah, uh, Mikuri's... Better job, Mikuri's one too. She'd be so sad if she got excluded. Ah, uh, I already drew one for Mikuri before, so I don't need to draw again, right? Wait, did I ever draw one for Mikuri? Strange. Tsuna hated Mikuri. Why? Hotaro. Is Mikuri really an awful girl? Awful guy. Is Mikuri really an awful guy? I don't know why, but I feel like that one day Mikuri will protect me. Not your illusion. It ain't your illusion. Huh, told you. Mikuri is a good guy. Let's make Mikuri a gift. 
Eh? Eh? I ended up drawing for everyone. Never mind. Sina likes everyone. Then, let's see her go. Oh, hey. Why suddenly gather to... Why suddenly gather to, gather to my to to my room? Wait. Uh, wait, both of you. I am discussing something important with me, Kuri. Maggie, look, Tuna and Hotaro drew this. This is our present to Maggie. Ada, this is for me. Thank you. Thank you for everything. This is our appreciation to Maggie for always making an effort. Here, Mikuri, this is for you. For me? You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Mikuri got a present too. Then, thank you, Tsuna Hotaro. Anna, you brushed. Uh, are you blushing, Mikuri? You're good in your in your in your way. Eh? Are you blushing, Mikuri? Are you really happy? No, not true. Not true at all. No. Great. Tsuna was worried to get rejected by Mikuri. Oh hey. Stop making fun of me. Just be honest. Even Hotaro, you guys. Mikuri's been fun lately, I like it. You don't need to hold it in. Just let it out and laugh. I... I'm not holding it in. When she hangs... When she hangs out with Tsuna, Mikuri will definitely laugh. Uh, non-stop. Sounds good. If Mikuri and Tsuna can hang out, uh, it would lift uh, quite some weight off my shoulder. Wait, I didn't say yes. Lusa, I need you. Yes, thank you, Lusa. Welcome to my little wonderland, Hotaro. This is a place where blue star flowers blossom, and it's a place to face our own hearts. Isn't it beautiful? The plants are shining under the uh, under the night light. I always come here and think by myself when I feel troubled or sad. There is no one here. It's it is quiet. So I can calm down and face my own heart. Otaro, do you like do you like it here? No, do you like the facility? You've already known that, right? Here is underground and uh and on the ground is snowing. I've talked I've talked with Mikuri. I've heard everything from her. The peace here in this facility, it isn't unlimited. If we go to Tokyo, then we might survive. That's what she said. You want to go outside? Do you think, do you think that way as well? If we could survive going outside. There's only a dead end even if we stay here. Well... 
You're already a smart boy. And I didn't know about it. You've learned everything and... Uh... You've learned everything. And... Uh... And thought, act, became stronger by yourself. You seem to become another person that I don't know. I will always say to you. Thank you, Hotaro. I am satisfied that you have such an idea. I want to talk with everyone tomorrow about leaving here and go to, going to Tokyo. Did the... You're fucking kidding me. The game just froze again. Why is this happening? Yeah, the, the game... The game is frozen. Are you fucking kidding me? One, this is making RPG Maker MV. I think this happened with the Witch's House as well, with the Witch's House remake. Like, I think there is something with RPG Maker MV that causes it to freeze for whatever reason. Because also the witch's house, uh, the witch's house did this. So, this isn't an isolated case. I mean, at least I saved. It isn't unlimited. If we go to Tokyo, then we might survive. That's what she said. I'm sad that they have such an idea. I want to talk with everyone tomorrow about leaving here and going to Tokyo. For you and Tsuna and our future. We have to prepare a lot. There is a limit to how, to how many things we can take with us. We can never come back here again. We have to say goodbye to the memories here. That is not good. It becomes more lonely when I said it. Can I sleep with you? Well, well, don't act like a kid. Are you trying to cheer me up? Don't worry. We are mother and son, remember? It's time for bed. Why don't you brush your teeth and go to sleep? talk about Angelico uh, with mother Usa help please help me Wait, what? Where is... Wait, where did the other two go? There's one of them. Thank you. Did you make it for us? Thank you. Everything is going well. Finally, I had a conversation with Maggie. In order to leave this facility, we have to talk to everyone tomorrow. You did a great job. Thank you, Otaro. And about those drawings... Um... I am very happy. It's the first time I get something like that. No, not the first time. Okay, my bad. Never mind. Hotaro, I feel that you started to act like a man days ago. Did something happen to make you change like this? Perhaps. You don't have to say if you don't want to, but don't push yourself too hard. You're not alone. 
You don't have to manage everything by yourself. If you need any help, just go... Just go to someone. It must be really helpful. At least I'm on your side, Hotaro. Crueler things will happen after this. The world outside is dangerous. Anyone might, go might get lost. Now might be the only time I can still protect you. Grow, Hotaro. Be strong to protect yourself and others, I promise you. Sure. If something were to happen to me, you have to take over. I spoke too much. Go to bed, otherwise this will affect tomorrow. There it is. I think... Hmm. Where is... Tsuna? I think I want to tell... Uh... I don't think this matters for the ending, to be fair. But I think I want to tell... Her. I guess we can tell Tsuna. Do you want to talk to Mikuri about Angelica? Yes. What? Angelica? Are you sure? Angelica is planning to kill all of us. Impossible. To be honest, what, you, what you are saying is unbelievable. But I trust you. So, I trust what you said, although it's so absurd. I don't want to believe it. It might cause chaos if Maggie and Tuna know this. Keep it a secret from them. Okay then, as you said, I will only meet you in your room tonight. Just get on your bed and pretend you're asleep. Don't let Maggie catch you. Just two of us to convince Angelica. If it can't be solved by words, then I have to... To what? Hmm? Oh! Hotaro, today's a great success! Make you milk your super happy! It was great that I chose Hotaro's idea and didn't go to the engine room. Thank you, Hotaro. You're welcome. Hey, hey, Hotaro is quite good sometimes. Ah, right. Don't forget to send Angelica hers as well. Hi, why am I here, you ask? Why bother to ask? I guess you can all fall asleep, so I, I came here to accompany you. Am I gentle? Did you fall in love with me? Well, it's not like I can't marry you. Actually, I'm just too scared to sleep alone. I want you to sleep with me. I will Will I have weird dreams again? It should be fine, right, Hotoro? It's okay. Right, I think so. But if I still can't sleep, can I come to your room? I can't say no to you. Really? Thank you. Then see you tomorrow. We'll try to sleep. Angelica. I've also asked Mikuri to keep an eye on her. It's okay. It would work out, definitely. But if the Monica attacks, what should I do? To prevent such a thing from happening, I have to fight for it. 
What do I do before I sleep? Time limit. Time is running out. Time limit is coming. The fourth day is coming. I will not let anyone die or be killed. Never. The time of peace is to an uh, is to an end. It is the time to confront that demon. How do I? How could I stop her? I racked my brain thinking of different ways, but couldn't come up with a solution by myself. Good night. No. Hotaro. Sorry that I let you wait. Let's go. Let's go to Angelica's room. Are you ready? No, I want to save actually. Usa, my man. Don't worry. We'll return it secret. Wait, what did it say? I just read it. I, I skipped it. Fuck. Let's try that one. <laughs> Let's read that one again. I Wait, is this maybe not be now that I think about it? Yeah, it's made in MB. I was right. So, so yeah, this is the same engine as the witch's house. Thank you, Usa. Appreciate you. Are you ready? Yes. Add the backup keys. It is borrowed from Maggie's room. Don't worry, I will return it secretly. Oh. Well, hold up. Angelica! Hey, wake up! It's okay now. Although she isn't conscious, she's still alive. What exactly happened? What is this thing? I think that's the ice block of the soul. Ah. Is that the rock written in the book? It is said that it is the product of one's heart uh in in instantiated. Whatever that means. Should we go in and find out? She seems to fall asleep. You want to smell the pillow? There's the smell of an old grandma. There's the, the ice block of Angelica's soul. You want to go inside? Go and see. Let's go, Hotaro. Who's that? Who is speaking into my heart? No. Don't come into my heart. The girl's name is Angelica. Introverted and honest. She wasn't lonely at first. She got a twin sister whose name was Demonica. Demonica was nowhere near Angelica. She was a lively and strong girl. The two of them were always together. They were sisters who shared story and... They were sisters who shared joy and sorrow. The parents hated the two like that. Once one of them caused a problem, both of them would be thrown into the woods. At such times, the two would wander through the woods looking for their way home. 
When they got back home, they knocked on the door many times asking for parents' forgiveness. The weak and poor twin sisters. The town is full of rumors about the twins. Everyone was saying the cursed twins. And those who pitied them called them the poor twins. The weather that day was bad. It looked as if it would rain soon. The two were thrown into the woods again. The, the, the game froze. It froze again! Why? Why does this keep happening? The poor twins. The weather that day was bad. It looked as if it would rain soon. The two of them were thrown into the woods again. Well, I am saying this. How long are we going to stay angry? Hey, are you listening, Angel? I've said that I'm sorry so many times. Why don't you reply to me? Demo, you... You talked back too much to Mother. We're going to get lost in the woods again. It's not only your business, I will be punished along with you. I don't have a choice. It is joint liability because we're twins. I didn't do anything wrong. It's not that old woman's fault for beating you. I can't just stand there and do nothing if such a bad thing happens, right? Even like this, you have to learn to bear with them. How many times do you think this has happened? It is a miracle that we went home safely. You may die in the woods anytime. Don't you know that? I know. I'll listen to you. I'll do it better next time. So please forgive me, Angel. Okay. I don't want to walk anymore. Angel, why don't we just go back? Let's live together, two of us. That will be happier. That old man and old woman must feel the same way. What are you talking about, Demo? That's not possible. We don't have money and we can't earn money. How do we live by ourselves? In that case, uh, in that home, if we bear, we can get food at least and a place to sleep. There's always a way as long as we are together. I I don't think so. No. Angel, do you know that? It said that at the end of the world, it is said that the end of the world is coming. The story that Hokkaido will be buried by snow and then, wait, the story that Hokkaido will be buried by snow and then des des destroyed, destructed. What the fuck? <laughs> that is not a story. Hokkaido will definitely be ruined.
Demo, do you have any evidence to say such a thing? No, I just want it to be destroyed. That's my wish. I wish this world can be destroyed. I don't need this world that tortures angels and they angel and me. It looks like an eternal hell here. There is only desperation and no way to run. Every day is just passing. Life is all about making choices. Which one of them did I... Which one of them made a, made a mistake? Is it a, mis is it a mistake to be born? If that's so, then I'd probably lose the right of choice when I was born. This world is unreasonable. It even makes people want to escape and shout out, I am tired of it. It must be the same for Demo. That's why... She left me and went on the, on the journey by herself. I walked alone and went back home by myself. My parents never asked why Demo was not with me. They probably weren't interested. That made me angry. Finally, the rumor was the rumor spread spread through the town that Hokkaido will be covered in eternal heavy snow. What Demo said is becoming the truth. My parents and I decided to go to a facility owned by a man. That is not heaven, but a hell of sex. Those who restrained were killed, or those who resisted were killed. But my parents were shot to death. Looking at their blank eyes, I felt nothing. I didn't take revenge for Demo. I just felt pity for that. The children in the facility started a rebellion. All the men were dead. The kids left work with each other and swear to live together. That was the first time I got freedom. I I thought of it uh, I thought it was though it, though it is a closed space I'm still satisfied with its free life I'm not alone you look happy You are so heartless that you can be so happy without me, Angel. The... The game fucking... THE GAME THROWS! I literally cannot do anything. Well, that's amazing. You look happy. You're so heartless that you can be so happy without me, Angel. We're meant to be unique to each other, twin sisters. Demo? Is that the Monica? Come to me, Angel. It is happier to stay with me. No, I can't, because I've decided to work with everyone and build paradise together. Paradise? Can a child really build something like that? You once... You once disgusted with change and refused to pursue freedom. I thought you said that... I thought you said that you have no strength and gave up. Angel, come with me. I will show you something more interesting.
Then you can find what you've been looking for. Let's make this world super amusing, Angelica. Hey, how do you feel now? I really hope that you can tell me. Ah. Couldn't even speak? What a poor girl. You are such a bad boy. You chose to let this cute girl experience such terrible things. This is cruel. Then, I have to let Tuna pay for all the rude things that she had said to clean this body with this rotten mind. I didn't wish to see this again, but... No. No! No. Wow, what a bad smell. The blood smells ho smells terrible. Turn over a little girl's intestines. This is not what a normal person would do. Angelica, I'm going to kill you. Wow, horrible. That's impressive, but unfortunately, you will do nothing and die. To such a gentle person like you. Uh, com compared to being hurt, it's, it is worse see your precious person getting hurt. Well, I'm going to make you happy, my dearest Mikuri. Damn. Stop it. Really? The destiny of Miss Mikuri is going to be decided by this little young boy. Don't you feel it's unfair? What do you feel now? I hope you can tell me. A clever choice, Hotaro. I've always believed that you were going to choose me. That's good. It's not your fault. You did right. I'm going to let Miss Mikuri lose her legs. Someday, we'll leave this place and go outside. You seem to have such a boring fantasy all the time. I'd have to let you. You can't leave anymore. What about that? Isn't that wonderful? Three! Hotaro, you must live! Two! No matter what happens, don't regret. Don't regret. You are right. You did nothing wrong. One! Even if I can't say, you must live. Stay strong, never look back. Ah. No. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh.
and Mikuri has never moved again. What about adding in a side like this? It's a great idea, right? Mikuri. Mikuri has... What an enjoyable show. Don't you think that it's too enjoyable? Wait, don't you think that it is too enjoyable that I feel like I'm about to throw up? Don't let me see it anymore. What the fuck? Huh? Wait, what happened to the background? Ah, uh, it's too wet here. It feels like I get sick if I stay longer. Yeah, the food is ready. Let's go back. Well, Botaro is waiting. Don't make them worry too much. What's wrong, Angelica? You can leave now. This world will be under my control. And... Angelica? I will do well. You don't need to worry. Just sleep forever under the ground. Don't do that to Maggie. Why, Angelica? Why did you do that? You're not that kind of girl. Who would do such things? Didn't we agree to build parallels together? <laughs> Maggie, you are such a stupid woman. It's obvious that if you didn't hesitate to kill me, I will not become like this. Did you lie to me, Angelica? Angel. I've never seen such a thing before. That is only what can be seen here. The outside world is too narrow. There is nothing that I'm looking for. But here. Here has what I want. No matter what I do. Of what I want. <sighs> I will not be blamed by anyone. Stop it. I don't hope for this. Demo is dead. I know that. But somewhere deep in my heart, I have a sense of inferiority feel- I have a sense of inferiority feeling for Demo. Leave Demo alone. And try to be happy by myself. She won't forgive me for this. Angelica, your sister is gone. You don't need to listen to anyone. Listen to yourself. Life is all about making choices, and can never go back. This is the truth of the world. No matter what happened, or who was missing, time passes cruelty. But cruelly. Even if you feel sad or desperate, there must be redemption ahead. Morning will come, and the nightmares will end. I lied to you, and hurt everyone. And did something very, very terrible to your legs. I deserve to be hated by you. And I can't get your forgiveness. I love you. So no matter what you have done, I'm fine with that.
If it's a relationship that breaks so easily, I'd better just give it up. Mikri. Love you too, always. Come with me, Angelica. Can I really go with you? Can you take me to the world you've been looking at? Ah, that's for sure. Don't let me go. Don't leave me. In order not to let me be deluded by the demon again. Demo. I finally found you. It was all your fault for running away. I've been looking for you, Demo. Demo. What happened? Why do you come to this place? That is dangerous over there. Come to me. No. Demo? You come anywhere closer, I'm going to jump. I'm serious. Demo, no. Don't do stupid things. It's okay. I don't miss anything. Here is such a, is such a boring world. What? What are you talking about? It will disappear sooner or later. The evidence that we exist, the things we left, will all disappear. Our existence doesn't have any meaning, Angel. We can't leave anything in this world. You actually think so too, right? Living, yet so miserable. You are tired already, aren't you? There's no... Angel, why are you still alive? That's because... I was not able to answer that question. What do people live for? I may have been looking for the answer to this question. Good morning, Angelica. A beam of light shone in the darkness. The nightmare as the dark underground path has ended. No one will die anymore. Finally, we are able to, be uh, to welcome a fresh new morning. Save. Literally, I, I need to save immediately. In the white cradle, you woke up. What awaits for you, you know nothing. What awaits for you, who knows nothing, is only desperation. The precious people will be missing, and the tragedy will play. A future that everyone wants to run away from. 
Life is all about making choices. Remember the fact that everything can't go back. Finally deviated from the path and try to build a new world. With hope in your heart and the will to fight against the world. Contrary to fear, the world unexpectedly changes its stance. In the future, Uh, in the future that you hope for, you will know what is waiting for you in front of the pursuit of happiness. Please let me save. Fourth day. Fucking save Usa! Usa! Fuck off, mom. Usa. You're my. Oh my god! It literally froze what right as I saved it. The game froze! If I was just a second too late. If I was just a second too late, it would have froze right as I was about to save it. You know what? I'm not complaining. I most certainly am not complaining. No, I, I, I'm good. Oh my god. How the fuck do I manage that? Come on, we're almost done. Just two more endings. And I'm pretty sure they're like one right next to the other. Thank you, Usa. I love you, Usa. I love you. I'm so glad you're here, Usa. Good morning, Hotaro. What a great morning. You didn't sleep well? You've got bags under your eyes. Oh. I have an important announcement. Can you gather everyone around for me? No. Um... First I wanna see... Yes. Hotaro, good morning. What should we play today? I'm going to ask Maggie to play with me. After we have breakfast, I'm going to give the painting to Angelica. Good morning, Hotaro. Did you sleep well last night? Although I can't remember it clearly, my heart somehow feels warm. It feels like... It feels like someone important... Uh... Someone... Im it feels like the feelings of someone important to you was conveyed to me. Hotaro, you're really er you're early today. You were up late last night. You can go back to sleep for a while. Soon we'll say goodbye to this facility. Now go finish your unfinished business. That was it. You you were my unfinished business. <laughs> An important announcement. Okay. What the important thing is. Come down and listen. Uh Everyone listen up. I'm going to leave this I'm going to leave this facility tomorrow. Eh? Why? Maggie, you finally made up your mind. There's the decision. Mikuri and I made a, made after our discussion. Supplies and food are running out. 
There's only death if we stay here. We will leave tomorrow. Get out of here and go to Tokyo. Tokyo has everything. We don't have to worry as long as we get there. Is that really safe? It's snowing out there. Just like the prophecy said, it's snowing outside. Uh, and will be dangerous and uh, and will be a dangerous and hard journey. I suggest everyone go together. Any objection? Must we leave here? But if I don't go, I'll have to say goodbye to Maggie. Tsuna is going. Since Maggie is leaving, Tsuna will go with you. So, is Hotaro alright? I'll join you. I'll protect this. Uh, I'll join you. Looks like it's final. Of course, I will be with everyone. After all, if there aren't five of us together, nothing can start. Angelica. Then it's decided. We're leaving. We're going tomorrow morning. Everyone go pack your bags. Can I bring my doll with me? We can't bring everything. After all, there's limited space. She's right. I'm sorry. Understood. Tuna will be fine. Thank you, Tuna. You're growing as well. Well, it's okay. Tuna's not a kid anymore. Mengi, you will have to pack up the food. No problem. But you need to carry the heavy stuff too. Yeah, for sure. Angelica, can you handle the coats? Understood. Um, do Tsuna and Hotaro have anything to do? And then, let's see... Well... Go get your clothes ready. Roger. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a joyful journey. Yep. But sometimes, that's not bad. Usa. My boy. Usa. Okay, I see. I don't have to dream about bad things if I go outside, right? I'm telling you this, though I don't know why I got a bad feeling when I went to the engine room. Motaro, that's why you stopped me, right? You also had a bad feeling, right? Just like me. So thank you. It was you that saved me. You're amazing, just like a hero. You must protect me from the rest uh, for the rest of your life, Hotaro. What does it mean to fall in love? Have you ever fallen in love? I think I know uh, what it's like. No matter, Maggie or Angelica, I like them a lot. I also like Mikuri. However. It is only different for you. You are strange. I thought I liked you. I feel my heart is bumping. Is this falling in love? What do you think, Hotaro? My favorite flower. It's called Blue Star. It says, love of trust, love of happiness. We can go outside and go and, uh, and go adventure tomorrow. Can we see the sky and the sea? 
finally can I see my mom? If I told you that my mother is traveling outside, isn't she awesome? Maggie told me that. Uh, only if I grow up I can see my mother again. Finally. Finally, my dream is coming true. I really wish to see my mother soon. Kotaro. There is something that I have always... I have always wanted to tell you. Can you listen to me and don't laugh at me? Yes. I like you. What happened? Why'd you say that? Some kind of joke? You must be laughing at me, right? You stupid. You stupid Hotaro. I shouldn't say it. It is all your fault. Just kidding. Hotaro, it is tomorrow. Do we have to say goodbye to this home? Yes. We have made a lot of fun. And a lot of sad things happened as well. Lots of... It is the last time that we could laugh here. I'm really happy to play with you for such a long time. And happy to live with everyone here. Really, really happy to be born in this world. Thank you, Hotaro. I like you the best. We're going to be together forever from now on. Huh. Words. This one. Demo. Looks like I can't go after you right away. Please watch over us from the beyond. No matter what others say, you're my most precious twin sister. When someday in the future, but I fall asleep forever. Uh, see you. Okay, sure. See you then in the far beyond sky. We're finally leaving tomorrow and saying goodbye to this place. Hotaro, for you, this is like the hometown you were born in. Only today, you still have the chance to look around. Are you all packed? All important things go in the bag. I need to get the coats ready. Hotaro, you are an incredible child. You know everything. You know everything. Just like looking at something we can't see. Like knowing the answers to the test from the beginning, and can always get the right answer. But please remember, unexpected things will... S will... Certainly occur... Certainly happen. Which... Curtainly, yes, curtainly. There's no... Uh, there's no such a world that... Everything can go as planned. Potero, why are you still alive? I don't know. Have I told you before? Long ago, I had a twin sister, although she has passed away. She committed suicide right in front of me. Angel, why are you still alive? That's what she said to me before she killed herself. To this question, I can't give an answer. I've been regretting because of what she said. I realize I don't have the meaning and value to be alive. Just look for it uh, when alive. Value of life is made by oneself. Just look for it when alive. That is right, we can't choose how we are born, so as long as we're alive, we don't need to we don't need to look for the reason. I already found it. About what I should do. Only I can do it. No one else can do it like I do. Like, like I do with it. I can strongly feel my density. Potero is young. Hope one day you can find your bright light. No. You might have you might already found it. You might have already found it, Potero. Lilia got these strange 
I got this strange feeling. Like I'm being tested. Is this what Angelica said? Is this what Angelica called the garden? It's a joke I can't laugh at. I didn't expect someone is watching us from the outside and take us as entertainment. What if now we're still being watched? And the observers are controlling everything from the screen outside. And we are in a screen or something. Um... Should we tell her? No, let's stop thinking about this. I feel like I'm going crazy. Anyway, I'm so glad things ended. Uh, thing I'm so glad this thing ended. We won't make it without your speech. Thank you, Hotaro. Let me thank you again. I... I'm not saying you can take all the credit. Although I'm so confused, but I'm gonna say it. You are quite like my father. Stubbornness, or should I say forcing me to do something I'm not good at. Father, if, if he's still alive, will I ever see him? I'd really like you to meet him someday. I mean, Potaro. You know human has two genders, right? Yes, male and female. Comes from birth and cannot be changed. Male and female. These two different genders fall in love. Appears to be a set of human behavior. Uh, but if it's not this behavior, will it be allowed? Can I love a female? No, maybe we shouldn't be uh, bound by the by the by those rules. It doesn't matter whether others agree. I love Angelica. Isn't that all that matters? Yeah. The journey starts tomorrow. We've been through a long way to get here. But I am still a bit unsettled. Got everybody's hopes up about Tokyo. Is it really the right thing to do? From now on, we must confirm everything. Tokyo... Tokyo, does this dream really exist? And does that city really... And is that city really full of hope like promised? If this journey ends with no hope... Hotaro, what do you think? We'll have to get there first. That is true. No one can see through the future. We'll have to see it for ourselves. I'm afraid it will be a long journey. This road of hardships, danger and coldness. Some will fall, and sometimes we'll have to leave them behind. It would be on them, then. It would be... It would be on me, then. I will take full responsibility for this trip. I'm an accomplice. You're too gentle. Only gentle is not enough. Can't blame anyone. Make every... Uh, I can't blame anyone. Make everything your fault. Pour that up inside. If you keep... Uh, if you keep bearing the negativity in, one day you're gonna explode. Even if you lose something important, don't despair. Pour those anger and grief that you that you can't let go of me. That you can't let go on me. I'll take it all. I suppose you know we don't have much food. I will gather the food outside and I will show you. Uh, and I'll show you how. I'll teach you everything till you can stand on, on your feet. After that, you can do whatever you want. If I got in your way, don't hesitate to kill me when the time comes. I am a woman, and you're a man. Do you understand? Eventually, one day, no matter... Uh, no matter strength, endurance, or combat skill, with one L, you'll have to be better than I am. This is the law of nature. You will understand what I mean one day, sooner or later. Please, I bet on you. Uh, Usa? Usa, save! Thank you, Usa. I appreciate it. Um...
Kotaro, I'm waiting for you. Sit right there. Let's talk for a while. It froze. <laughs> <laughs> it froze. <laughs> fuck. I mean, at least I saved, but fuck me. Why? Alright. We're literally almost done. Please. Just let me do something. Anything. Uh, and, okay, there we go. Thank you, Usa. I love you. Oh, my throat is starting to hurt. I should make tea. Hotaro, I'm waiting for you. Sit right there. Let's talk for a while. Hotaro, we're finally leaving tomorrow. It is finally the time that all of us leave this facility. We have to say goodbye to here. How many years has it been? Or how many years have we been here? I can still clearly recall. The day we first arrived here. It's a very memorable thing. Tsuna and you have a great appetite because of your growth. So I was worried about what to eat every day. And sometimes you will open the refrigerator and steal snacks. Tsuna is a glutton. <laughs> Angelica likes to read books all day. Before I knew it, she slept in the library. I can't remember how many times did I cover her in a blanket. Yeah, she's just like a grandma. And Mikuri, she always says I'm so clumsy. I will make a mess. She never helps with housework. But she actually appre appreciates you. Mikuri is like... Mikuri is like a representative of clumsy. Lots of things happened. I found out that... When I went to the basement, we don't have much food left. I even had a terrible idea. If we have one... If we had one fewer person, we can survive on our food. Also, we could get more meat if we kill her. Humans are cruel. Even those who believed... Uh, who once believed as partners could easily betray. Until I see the reality... I felt like it was a dream. I thought I, I thought we could live together happily ever after. Not everything could go on well. I believed I could build a paradise here, but I was wrong. It was so good to talk with me uh, with Mikuri. If I were the only one to be troubled, I don't know what would I do. It is all because of you, Hotaro. You made this happen, right? Thank you, Hotaro. I really am an unqualified mother. I depend on you all the time and everyone else. Oh, you work so hard? Uh, I've always been grateful to you. Hotaro, it's okay, don't push yourself. You have noticed it, haven't you? I'm not your real- I'm not your real mother. Don't hide yourself. Even like this, I still think that I pour all my love to you. Although I did not have a, although I did not have a baby, but I always see you as my own child and cherish you. You're not abandoned by your mother. It was your mother's will uh, that I'm here now. You are definitely being loved, so don't feel sad. Uh, hopefully the stream is okay. Anyway, congratulations, Hotaro. It is finally the end that you hoped for. 
The time of sad is over. What are you talking about? Mother knows it. No. To speak the truth. Actually, Mother is not here. Potaro, Angelica, Tsuna, and Mikuri as well. I felt it. What you see is a different world from us. And you are resetting the world. The only one who can unlock the safe box is you. You are not Hotaro as before, aren't you? You saw through that? Yes. Because Hotaro... You were always doing the opposite of what I was doing. I watched you perfecting this world with your own will. Did I do it wrong? No, I'm not blaming you. No matter if it is right or wrong, I don't have the right to judge you. However, if this is your answer, your future must be very tough. Because you haven't noticed the... You haven't noticed where the... Because you haven't noticed where this place is. This world is a dream uh, when you are in your mother's tummy. Although it is pitiful, when you wake up, you have to accept the reality. Because life is full of choices and life cannot be replayed. The sad thing, the sad things, the painful things, and someone is gone or died. You turned all these into something that never happened by doing it all over again. But this won't work in real life. These choices cannot be remade. Even if you lose anything, even if nobody gets a reward, you still have to live. Real quick, um, before I do anything, yeah, just in case. Um, I'm just gonna, Uh, real quick, I'm just, I just really quickly need to, something else um let me see where are the saves because I don't want to make, uh, I don't want to make a choice and then all my save files are dead. So, let me go charge my fucking phone. Cool, what was that, 2%? Um, um, Data. No. No, these are something else. Uh, oh, save! There it is. Alright, control A, C. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Alright. Uh, let me put them somewhere else. Hold on. Let me make a folder, like, here.
I'm just gonna copy all of these to a different folder because you never know, just to be sure. This choice cannot be remade. Even if you lose, even if you lose anything, even if nobody gets rewarded, you still have to live. It's time to say goodbye. I don't want to leave. Soon you will wake up from this dream and be born in the, in the real life. When you open your eyes, you might forget what, it, what has happened here. But this cradle isn't a meaningless world. Because this is a dreamland that was made up for you to understand your mother's heart. In your heart, there must be some remain peace. It must be alright if it's you. You're a tough boy, right? There it is. The choice. I want to... This choice can't be remade. Stay in the stream. Do you know how cool this choice is, Hotaro? You will never be born in the real world and the meaning of it. How much you, and the meaning of it, like how much your mother will hurt. You're a gift from God in her tummy. She protects you carefully till this day. She did not expect precious and irreplaceable. Uh, she did not expect precious and irreplaceable you to have died now. Your mother must blame herself. She will regret the rest of her life not to protect you. Not to give birth, not to give birth to you. You're going to stay here, having a happy dream with us. Do you really understand how capricious it is? Yes. Well, this is your choice. If it was you that chose it, I won't stop it. What a pity. You didn't understand your mother's heart, Potaro. Did the game freeze? I think the game froze. No. Yep, the game froze. Fuck. Well, now that means I now have to. I now have to re-choose uh, the, the option to... Wait, what? What? Wait. Huh? What? Wait a goddamn second. It's locked. Wait, so it auto saved? Oh, it auto saved here. Alleged they can control extra machines. I must have said soon and I can't touch it. There's no need to get in the shower room. The door is unlocked. The dreams of a fetus is never a beautiful thing. Because that is the symbol of a mother's broken heart. Along the track of human beings full of killing. It is a strange... Prepared... Wait, it is a stage prepared for you to understand your mother's heart. With no doubt, this is a nightmare.
Who are you? Why are you here? Not for anyone, nor considering anyone's feelings. Taking advantages, taking advantage of the others, only yourself get, only for yourself to get the merit. The dream is no exhibition, you ungrateful son who doesn't understand your mother's heart. I am Hotaro. I was going to be born in this world. It's supposed to be like that. I wanted to get born in this world. It was you who killed me. Oh, sucks to suck. So, I can see what, um, okay, um, anyway, yeah, never mind, I'm not, I'm not gonna go through all of that, uh, because I do, thankfully, oh, now there's a RPG save dot back, which I think overwrites the RPG save file. But if I remove that, then... Actually, yeah, let me try. Since I did just copy the old save file. Um, oh, okay. Never mind. Yep. Yeah, it does. Okay. So... So now if I remove that... It's a good thing I thought of the um, of the copying the files thing, cause I would. Uh... Wait, no, it's still there. Wait, hold on, what happened? Fuck, hold on. Um, hold on, I have an idea. If I start. And then I close the game. No, I thought it's gonna be a little easier. But I guess not. Um, game. Oh, it crashed. Yep. It froze immediately. Um, it's fine. Because it probably wasn't gonna... What if I... Okay, let me... Delete the 20th save file. Then play. Got it. Screwed you over. Um... And so now, I throw in this save file back in. It's also been 10 hours, so I'm going to have to end the stream very soon. Um, oh. No, it actually wants me to... I am fully incapable of... Fuck you, game! Fuck you! <laughs> um... Okay. There we go. I figured it out. It took longer than I would have liked it to, but I figured it out.
Did the game just freeze? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, it froze. Of course it did. God damn it, man. Why is it freezing this fucking often? Alright, there we go. Here it is. Say goodbye to everyone and wake up. That's right. Accept the reality. It must be the best choice for yourself. You have grown up, Hotaro. It was just like yesterday. I could still remember the day that I decided to take care of to take care of you as my own child. But I can't see that anymore. Ah. Uh, why is it this is a world that would vanish at the end. This emotion or me isn't real. Love you, mother. You're my real mother in my he in my heart. Well, we got the same hair color too, all right? I got you, girl. Even if it's fake, the memory in this world must be real. No matter when, I will always be with you. I will be watching. So live on, no matter what happens. Don't give up on your life. Don't give up until the end. Oh, Pyrrhus, why do you undulate? Is it the knowing of your mother's heart or it's a fuck? I'm now in the cradle of my mother. In her uterus, having a long, long dream. Dreaming of a small, horrific, but wonderful world. An extremely cruel and unreasonable world. 
I slightly peeped at the world before I was born. I'm about to be born here. Almost. I'll meet you soon. In a long and chaotic dream, I can hardly remember what I've lost or what was taken from me. Not because I can't remember, but because I forgot having the dream. Even the memory of important people in my life would disappear. At the end of my sight, a flash of light spreads. Whether it's happy or sad, I feel an unspeakable feeling and find myself can't stop crying. I cry out loud, shout loud about my existence. From now on, I'll live in a world where regret never exists, living my life while choosing, while choosing my way in a cradle of earth that moves towards ruin. and the dream of fetus. Dun, dun, dun. Sound of an old clock came from the distance. Okay, now we gotta see who that person is. Who, who is mother? I bet it's like a grown-up version of like what, an already existing character. Um... No, I guess, guess I'll never know because there doesn't seem to be any info. Okay, never mind. 